All right, what is up, my fine folks? It's your boy Dre. Welcome back to the Dre Sanchez YouTube channel. We got another banger for you guys today, flying with the fellas, with fellow content creator Leo Six Eighty Six, and we are going to be doing some big things here today. So, welcome back to the stream. Chad Talbot says, "Right on, brother. What's up, big dog?" So here we are in uh, South Florida, KRSW, and we about to get it in, y'all. Let me take a look around and see if I see anybody else logged off to the network here. Let's see here. Let's see, are we the first in the shoot? Okay, there goes American uh, 1281, and uh, I'm not sure quite who that is, but we will find out. Green light, bumba clot, violators. That's what's up, man. Guys, first and foremost, big up. Thank you, dear Lord, for waking me up today and blessing me. So, number one, thanks go to capital G, capital O, capital D. My wife and my kids, of course. My boy, business partner for life and brother for life, Chad Talbot, was checking in along with my big real G, Green Light Auto Brokers. Let me go check on Leo's channel and make sure we're all on schedule here. Let's see. All right. He's already in. Let's mute his. Yeah, for Let's some see. reason, this thing is not liking... It's not liking my uh, Thrustmaster stick for buttons. Um, so what we'll do is come back over here. All right. We'll just reassign them. To what I normally had them at. Okay, let's right. pause his. Cool beans. Roger that tit line. Welcome aboard. Good to see you, bro. Hope all is well. Um, all right. Stellar says, Leo, you should get the Carter Jow CFM. But I'm um, taking my, I'm telling you. Yeah, I know all about Carter Jow. I literally just reinstalled this airplane today, like before the stream. So I got what I could on it. I do have all right. DSS sound crack running and, uh, Boom. Matavia mod with, with obviously the sharklets. Uh, so oh. that's Leo talking yeah, right there. We could install as far as the mods. And uh, uh, let's see board. if he uh, is uh, and when we get American chance, 1281. Swap out those All right, so let's come up top. Okay, we are in South Florida. Get the IRSs into the uh, nav position. Okay, so I guess it's just me and him right now. And uh, we'll get going, guys. Uh, where is let's see. Packs. Let's get packs. All right, let's go ahead and stop that joint. Here we go, guys. Aviation Geek is in the house. Let's go ahead and get back on the aircraft, guys. Let's get some uh, power on, of course. And you guys know how to do that here in this Tolis. Uh, you got to come right here to this plugin and open this ISS screen. Let's go ahead and stabilize that and let me make sure uh let me just check one thing here on my x camera and xp realist okay okay cool 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 it's been a minute since i've flown this bad boy so we're gonna see what's up external power is on chocks are on uh let me look at joysticks uh idle reverse on same okay so that should still work and uh yeah let's go ahead and get some power on the plane of course Okay, we're gonna come right up here. See, there's external power is available, so we're gonna go battery one, battery two on, and you can see there is our external power coming on. Let's go ahead and come up top and get our IRSs aligned. And uh, boom, 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 we don't need to worry about the packs. Let's, of course, come down here and arm this bad boy. We'll put that to auto, that to auto. We'll also get our position lights on here. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. And let's get, no, let's get that joint on. It's just in default mode. All right, now let's come right back down here. Let's see, I gotta remember which buttons I got slaved where. Okay, let's turn the brightness up a little bit so that we can see what we are doing, man. Okay, we're gonna go to the initialization page here. And of course, we are doing uh, Kilo Romeo Sierra Whiskey. And we're taking this bad boy to DFW. 
So that'd be Kilo Delta Foxtrot Whiskey. And we're gonna jump that right up in here and we're gonna hit line IRS. We are American 318, most indubitably. Oops. That was some mistake, man. Hope everybody's doing good today, man. And uh, looking forward to another flight. Haven't flown this Airbus in quite some time. So hopefully we do get some type of uh, good results today. We're doing 360, bada bing, bada boom. That's all going. Let's go get our Tolis plugin page back in. Well, first of all, let's come down to the radio stack. Unable to, unable to all find right. UID 14. Good thing I got that here. Let's see. Radio, radios. Okay, we got to get it clicked on. See if it'll let us click. It might have to come over a little bit. Okay, get that turned on. Let's switch that to uh, turn the volume up. And let's see if I have the right button map for this thing. I do. All right, and let's come over to the other side because what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get a double feed just simply because, let's turn it on because I got the same frequency in there. There we go. Any station is net, any station is net, radio check. Hey, it's by an aviator, what's going on? Chief Sim Pilot is logging on in the house. Big up to you guys. So we're just going to get this bad boy ready and he's probably not doing a radio check yet. So we'll just leave it there make sure the comms are all turned up and we can also come here and monitor the boom boom room. We'll turn that up. We're going to put our flight code here into a standard mode and uh, all right, y'all, let's get back up to the rusty dusty uh, FMC. Uh, actually, we'll come right here and we'll do plugins now this is i didn't have time guys to get new scenery in here uh so we're just going to be using uh, standard gateway scenery for x-plane here which just doesn't look good at all but dallas fort worth and st louis we should have what we need no doubt all right let's open this screen up right here guys and let's get right into the loading performance and let's see i plan for 150 packs there we go and let's see you know what I need to do something on my flight plan welcome to the stream everybody appreciate you guys checking in and we about to like I said get it on get it on we'll see who else is flying later I need to change what I'm doing right now just with the flight plan I'm just making everything uh, converting it to uh, kilograms since this thing is here is in kilograms so that's how we're gonna do this today guys let that load up and let's see what we are looking at here okay kilograms block fuel 11897 so we'll go 11.9 and uh, the red one is below the line which is good the black is wind tolerant so we're good there uh, cargo let me see what it's got me running in cargo here in kilograms let's see cargo is uh 6.2 uh kilograms let's see we got three and four five so let's see bringing this aft cargo down to about right here let's see what happens when we move this okay we'll leave this bad boy about right here well that's it 150 packs distribution boom 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 11.9 on the fuel all right so let's apply these load settings. Get the fuel up in there. And yeah, we're good to go on that one. So that's in there. Center of gravity, it's looking good. Uh, so now we can actually, let's turn that page up because we need to come down here and do one more thing. Let's see. Let's, let's see. It's not what we need. We need to toll this plug in again. Now we're going to use these because we're not done. We have to now come over to the next page here and do our zero fuel weight. Okay, our zero fuel weight is uh, 68.4. So we're gonna say 68.4. And our zero is 26.5 for our zero fuel weight center of gravity. So we're gonna do on 26.5. Uh, Hi, y'all, and our block fuel is 11.9, so we're going to say 
point nine. Bye, y'all. All right. Talking about the revolution. All right. So now we got that all situated. Guys, let's come over here and uh, let's get my packs going here before I forget about it. Six zero, and we'll do takeoff time 15 minutes. It's got us as an A320, but we are in fact an A321 with 150 packs on. All right, now another thing we got to do, as you can see here, we got to get everything turned up. Cams can be turned up down here. Got to get it bright, man. And of course, if we go to the first officer side, we got to do the same thing. PFD can come up. Get that joint turned up. Okay, console floor. We don't need that. All right, we're all good to go, guys. Okay, map not available. Cool, cool. Let me check you guys out in the chat. All right, James Carter is in the house. Hashtag X Plane 11. That's what's up, man. Big up to everybody riding along. We are today flying with our big homie Leo Sticks 86. And uh, let's go ahead and check and see what the winds are right now, guys, so we can have an accurate takeoff. And Houston Center's on. Any station is net radio check. Okay, roger that. Tango mic. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get this radio check. Okay, KRSW. The uh, okay, we can take off any runway. It's uh, basically zero knots. All right. Let's see something here. Okay, we do have our tablet. And let's go here. Let's go KRSW. Boom. It's kind of a funky. There we go. Let's try to do something like this. And let's come over here. Let me save that. The way it's kind of angled funny, so it's kind of hard to get a straight on shot with this thing. So guys, sorry guys, you gotta save. look at it, can it? But I'm glad they added the Abbey Tab to this thing. Airport, airport information. And boom, there we go. And here we are. So there's runway 6 and 24, so we should probably take the western runway since there is uh, nothing going on prohibiting us from taking that route. So let's take the western runway, and uh, there is no uh, actual star out of here, so we'll just be direct to the first situation here, So which is Mookie. Okay, so let's get right into it. So we're going to come here and we're gonna click on this bad boy departure we're doing runway 24 okay and it's gonna be no sid all right and we're gonna insert that and then from mookie we're going direct uh to cigar so let's get mookie in first okay there goes mookie after mookie we're doing cigar Okay, that's off the top of climb. There goes Cigar from Cigar. So let's execute that. Let's insert. Then from Cigar, we got to enter an airway. The airway that we're taking is Yankee 290. From Yankee 290, we'll exit that at a VOR, Lima Echo Victor. Boom. From, and then we'll just... Uh, Let's see, yeah, we can just insert that one. Okay, now let's come all the way down and Ladies keep entering and in LEV AX. Okay, Alpha Echo X ray, then it'll be peanuts three. So let's insert that. 
Now we gotta also come over here and take a look at the arrival runway in uh, Dallas Fort Worth. Also be sure that the aisle is clear and sit down so that way other passengers can get by you. Whatever we land in Dallas, whether it's north or south, we'll go ahead and uh, I always take the center runway, unless ATC says otherwise. Okay, there's Dallas, Fort Worth, there's the runways, let's get the uh, ATIS. Uh, we're flying out to the west and the winds are, look like it's very calm, so I'm taking runway 24 to go ahead and fly out to the west. Alright, so... Okay, and that's uh, Stellar FS in the house. Fort Myers traffic. Good evening, American 1281. Radio check. What's up, boys? Five by five, big dog. Let's get another one in, man. Let's do this. Five by five, Leo. All right. Let's see. And uh, getting into uh, Dallas Fort Worth, I'm going to go ahead and take. Uh, uh, 17 center since the winds are uh, 140 to 11 knots right now. So we'll do 17 center. Okay, that's a firm. I'll uh, update mine once we get there more. Roger that. And I'm almost done. I'm just uh, finishing up my uh, arrival into Dallas Fort Worth. I'll do the uh, perf and I'll be ready to go, big dog. Roger that. We're just planning pushback now. Roger that. We're still putting our flight plan. We'll be, we'll be done in like a minute. Okay guys, so let's come down here now and click the destination. Uh, we're gonna go arrival. We're gonna be taking ILS 17 center and it's Barry 1. Barry 1, I guess you should say. And uh, let's see, Novia. Even though we do have the peanuts, I'm pretty CC Novia. You know what? Uh, actually, let's go back. We can go bossy and then for our uh there it goes peanuts let's insert that and let's take a look here there's peanuts all right let's clear that insert and ax peanuts Popsy, Muzzy, Baree, Tackle, Ward, boom. And then there's the Bossy one. So uh, let's see here, manual. And let's look at the approach really quick, guys. So let's get into here, back over to Baree. Let's get the arrival first. There's the Baree. We're just waiting for our field truck to load up our plane and we'll be ready. Okay, roger that. Okay, it's got us coming right here. Headman, whoop. Okay, so Headman is the last. Here's Marie coming up. If we land north, it'd be that way, but we're gonna we're planning we to land to south. And Good morning, let's go ahead and, and also take a look at our it's approach. To Texas. Our flight time will be roughly two hours and 16 minutes. Now that the cabin door is closed, please make sure that all devices are in airplane mode and your large devices are now shut down and stowed. All right, let's so make bossy. Sure that all tray tables and feedbacks are in a full upright and locked position for departure. Okay, and that's actually Flight perfect because there's bossy the right there, the initial fix. Context. So what I'm going to do is just come here from Headman. Uh, we'll have it go direct to bossy. So uh, let's clear this. See if we can clear the manual. Then clear that, and then we'll insert that. Oh yeah, and then that should bring us right into runway 17 Charlie. So that looks good for the flight planning. All right, boom, there we go. Let's go ahead and get into our perf page, my fine folks. And transition altitude is actually 18,000 feet. Okay, and there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and get our flap speed. This is where that plug-in comes in, so we know which runway we're taking. 
Uh, so let's open ISS. Okay, we're selecting flaps two. And here's all of our speeds right here for the runway since we haven't had it picked. All right, we're 27.8 up 01. Let's get that in there. So 27.8. going to be flaps 2 slash uh, up zero one. Hey, yeah, Leo, you're getting a lightning 2. I'm getting the same thing up in the cockpit. Yeah, it's uh, pretty and stormy right now. But we're fixing to send it, though. Flex temp is 36. I don't know how to turn it off, but it's pretty loud in the cockpit. If we want to do flex temp, here's our V speeds, 45, 45, 48. Boom! We got it in, guys. 18,000, 145, 48. Flex temp is F36. Uh, and uh, 2 up, 0, 1. We're all good there, guys. So, with that said, we can come up top and turn our APU on. Let's go ahead and get our beacons going here. Okay, let's go ahead and start that APU. All right, let's come down, back down here, and put this on the uh, flight plan. And let's come up top here now and get our situation all the way to flight level 360. And flight directors are both on Q and H here, or the altimeter, I should say, here. I don't know why I said Q and H. We're not flying abroad. Uh, looks like it's uh, 3002. All right, here's our APU information. We're gonna wait till this gets to about 100%, then it'll be available. Okay, now it's available. All right, so basically now we're gonna come up top. We need to turn the APU bleed on. And let's make sure that, okay, the APU generator is on. We can disconnect that external power now. And let's get our TOLA screen for the last time for now. And let us get rid of this and this. No chocks. And uh, let's look at our taxi. Okay, our taxi looks like it's going to be, we'll come uh, Juliet down to Foxtrot. So we'll take Juliet to Foxtrot. Let's go ahead and get ready to push back, y'all. Let's get the music off. All right, music is off, y'all. There we go. Let me check you guys out in the stream. And uh, Spionator says, I'm just uh, installing some P3D stuff. Chiefs had a had a call come in. No worry, Chief. Zato Fly says, boom, boom, room. No doubt, no doubt. All right, let's go ahead and reconfirm everything. Uh, let's see if that parking brake is set or not. It is. So let's go uh, get our pushback. Try that again. Okay, I'll send the push card. Get the parking brake off. Let's go ahead and get our uh, transponder on. Let's see here. Let's go all the way T A R A. And let's make sure our actual uh, weather here situation we is all copacetic. All right, and like I said, this is the only airport that I don't have scenery. I wanted to start with Leah one time, so I most certainly uh, did not want to not start with Leo. And whatever reason, uh, let me get my uh, active sky going here. Fort Myers traffic, uh, American 1281, we're going to be taxiing to runway uh, 24 via taxiway Gulf 2. 
Please take a few moments to now look at the several of these flights on this aircraft. Fort Myers traffic. Your nearest exit may be behind you. In case of an emergency and we need to evacuate the aircraft, there is lighting on the floor that will guide you towards the exit. In the event of a decompression, an oxygen mask will drop in front of you. All right, so the to weather will probably change oxygen, up. Pull the mask towards you. Place it firmly over your nose and mouth. Secure the elastic band behind your head. Tighten the straps if necessary. All right, there we go, everybody. Voice. Although the badge is not in place, oxygen is flowing to the mask. See, it's raining there. If you're traveling with a child or someone who requires assistance, secure your mask on first and then assist others. All Keep right. your mask on until a member of the crew advises you. It is Let's go ahead needed. as well in the and uh, water landing, a get the in a light cam the on. Between the when instructed to do Free so, and clear. The there we go. We got our back. light Take cam going on here. And uh, uh, let's get this bad boy started up, y'all. Okay. Parking brake is most certainly set. Left and right is clear. Let's go ahead and get this puppy going. Let's lock the cockpit door. Sure Alright, here we go. As soon as possible, Let's look velocity. down here. Once again, all devices must be in airplane mode and your larger devices must be turned off and stowed at this time. Please securely stow your personal items. Make sure your seat belts are fastened and seat backs and tray tables are in their full upright position. We remind all you right. that this is a non-smoking flight. Tampering with, disabling, or destroying the smoke detectors located in the lavatories is prohibited by law. All of this information okay, you can and see more that can be found in the up. safety card located in Unable the seatback in front of you. Unable to find view ID 16. Let us know if you have All any right, questions. Alright, might have to set up some Thank new scenes here. Thank you for flying here. with us, and we hope you enjoy your flight. Got to remember what I have. Hey, that's that one. Unable to, unable to All find right, view so ID 14. Alright, so there'll be a few 14. different scenes we'll start up in the air. But at least we do have the wings, I believe. Yeah, I thought I had another view set up for the front of the wing. That's okay. We'll get it set up in the air. All right. We got a good start. Let's go ahead and jump off that one. Let's arm our... All right. Auto brake there. Let's put uh, anti-skid on. Brakes on to max. Okay, let's also get our flaps too selected. And guys, air buses are super easy up top. Okay, we can now see that that's connected, so we can go ahead and turn the APU bleed off, and we can turn that APU off now. Let's get our flight controls check done. Okay, guys, pull up. You can see that moving. Pull down, neutral, alia run left, alia run right, neutral. And we'll do rudder right and rudder left. And we're getting ready to go. We'll tap the toe brakes. We'll make sure that's working. And that's not really slow. That's kind of fast. Yeah, I don't think it's raining that bad, boys. So I don't think we need that. Let's take a look at our taxi again. Okay, it looks like we'll do G5 Juliet Foxtrot. And uh, I don't even remember exactly what the full name of this airport is. This is Joint Leo got me on. Okay, Fort Myers is what it is. Okay, we want to be accurate in what we're saying here. Fort Myers traffic, American 318 uh, is pushed back. We'll be taxiing Golf 5 Juliet uh, Foxtrot to runway 24 for uh, uh, Fort Myers traffic. So, Golf 5. Juliet Foxtrot guys, so it looks like we need to do a stage left here. All right guys here we go Let's get it on and popping. Let's do our uh, Takeoff config uh, Cabin the only thing we need to do is get the cabin all checked Okay cabin is checked takeoff configuration is normal. Let's go ahead and put our Situation in the normal takeoff config is good 
Now, what I like to do upon takeoff is get another whip. Alright, guys, here we go. Double tap, rudders. Boom. Parking brake comes off. Here we go, everybody. And it's a 12,000 foot runway, so we very, may very well uh, do a flex takeoff, guys. There goes uh, El Señor Leo 6 over there taxiing out. They need to fix that. That's not exactly slow. I think that's ridiculously too fast, to be honest with you guys. Uh, Fort Myers traffic, American 1281. We're uh, lining up and departing runway 24. Uh, straight out departure to the west, uh, Fort Myers. Okay, this thing's a little off. I think my scenery is just a little off here. Just because it's not payware scenery. Let's snake over to this other taxiway here. I think we can make it. All right, there goes uh, Leo taking off. You can see him rotating there. Nice rotation. So welcome aboard. Welcome aboard, everybody. Fort Myers, so Traffic American, 1281, clear of 24, departing to the west, final call, Fort Myers. You guys know I'm always messing with my uh, cameras. Camera is safe. Realistic is on, enable smooth transition. Okay, cool. Alright, guys, everything is copacetic here. Timeters are set, takeoff configuration is ready. And we're just taxiing to the runway so we can get up out of here. Be advised, Miami Center's on. No shot. Okay, runs it out. I'll stay here until they contact me. And American 1281, did they contact you already? Okay, he probably went over. Let's see if we can pick up and see. I got the alert on the stream, Dre, so I think so. Okay, runs it out. See Miami Center oh, is one top. three five uh, one seven five. Two. Yeah, Roger that. Me too. All right, one three five one seven five. We'll get that in here in a minute, guys. Let me get you guys pulled up here.
Okay, guys, we're slowing it up. Sorry about that. Oh, there we go. Okay, I got it. I'm going to be going over before I take off. Yeah, I just got the message as well. I'm going to contact them now. All right, park and brake is set. Let's go down here, guys, and follow instrucciones. Unable to find view ID 14. Okay, it's uh, 135175. You might want to ask him if he has a code for login, but mine is from my side. Like, we can't share the code. Good afternoon uh, or evening, Miami Center, American 318, here at Fort Myers, uh, holding short runway 24. American 318, Miami Center, Squawk 4551, runway 24, line up and wait. Squawk 4551, runway 24, line up and wait, American 318. All right, guys, so that's Lee C. American 1281, radar contact, six miles southwest, actually so 10 miles southwest of the Fort Myers. We should have that on. Climbing team level three six zero. Actually, climbing team level three four zero. And let's go ahead and get and our right slow direct, on. Direct, uh, Remis. And climbing team flight level three four zero. Right direct Remis, uh, American uh, twelve eighty one. Miami Center, American okay, twenty seven. Okay, lights four, on. Short runway two four four miles. All right, there's two one forty one. Join Sierra to the ramp. Good day. Okay, you said line American 2740, squawk 4561. What was that direct to waypoint again? American 1281, direct to Remus. It's on Y290. I'm sorry, clear direct cigar for American 1281. Okay, direct cigar, American 1281. American 318, fly runway heading, runway 24, clear for takeoff. Fly runway heading uh, and runway 24 clear to take off. And are we just clear to climb up to flight level 360? Is there an altitude you want us to stop at? We're going to 18 on departure, climb maintain 4,000. Okay, on departure, climb maintain 4,000 for American uh, 318. All right, so. Uh, American 2740. Okay, we'll fly runway five, six, six, runway 24, line up and wait. All right, here we go. Lex, man, SRS. Four, American 2740. Lex, man, SRS. Let's get it, boys. A little bit of right rudder there. Eighty knots has already been passed. Crossing one hundred knots. Uh, one seven seven Miami Center. Buenas noches. Uh, expect an amended clearance here in about five minutes. V one. Rotate. Miami Center. Delta five twelve. We're close to step away for two minutes. Five twelve. That's a three. I'm coming back. Five five. Have lift off, line power. Make kind on of a one seven seven to confirm you are uh, RVSM capable. You pilot. FMS on board. And climbing out, and we have a nice Start little takeoff, take guys. And we'll keep climbing. One stage flaps up. Okay. Landing gear is up. And check your transponder. 
And let's disarm uh, our rusty dusty. Please. There we go. Our spoilers are disarmed. And we are climbing 4,000. Still have our flaps out, of course. So we'll be flaps clean here in a little bit. We're still climbing out. Let's see if we can get a little flyby here. American 318 is now passing through 2,900 for 4,000. American 318, climb level 340. Up to flight level 340, American 318. Okay, flaps are coming up. American 2740 on departure, fly runway heading, runway 24, clear for takeoff. Runway heading, clear for takeoff, runway 24, American 2740. All right, so now we've been cleared to climb up to flight level 240. Pretty sure he's going to give us a direct here pretty soon. Let's get our taxi lights off. Get our runway turnoffs, and we'll leave our uh, landing lights on until we pass 10,000. So not too bad departing out of here on the Florida area. Nice little view for you guys, and that is what is up. All right, Inda Sumarjane, the message was needed. Sorry about that. And we are up and at them, guys. Hey, Chad, how are you? Nice to see you. Um, you see that rain out there. That bad boy's rolling. Twenty-four, twenty-seven, forty. Runner contact passing. Passing one, uh, one five thousand, one thousand five hundred. Target 2740, climb maintain 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 
Bit of ATC. Jacksonville Center's on as well. Yeah, at 1843 Miami Center, expect PDC. American 309 RNF to Jamba, runway. Oh, she's rocking, boy. Let's see, we gotta go set up another scene here. Let's see. American 309 RNF to Jamba. My daughter in there. I thought I had some other ones in my right to the AT snuck the heck out on, didn't he? <laughs> oh, man. Let's see here. Added camera 11 to category. Let's do something here before I forget. They sure did sneak in. Hang on, guys. I'm trying to get y'all a different view here. Let me get this view and we'll respond to him. Delta 512, what's the best forward speed you can give me? 
All right, so it's going to be pretty busy. I wasn't anticipating having, and it looks like we got ATC the whole way. Well, Houston, uh, Dallas, Fort Worth, they probably will come on as well. Okay, let's come in here and let's see. There's our terrain. That's not what we want, though. I want to make sure the traffic is on there. Let's see. We should be getting traffic reports on this thing. Uh, I should have these guys on my TCAS. Speed. And I'm totally looking for the TCAS on here. American 1281, resume normal speed. Not quite sure why we don't see it. Resume normal speed, American 1281. We should have these boys on TCAS. So let me see what is going on here. We definitely. American 1281, Miami Center. Go ahead. Did you still want us uh, at 3 4 or are we still stepping up to 3 6? You're 1281, I got traffic behind you. I'm trying to make him overtake you. He's about 14 miles behind, and you guys should break up because you're going on different airways. So you can expect your crews, I would say, in about 50, 70 miles. Okay, thanks. Uh, Marcus 1281. We're going to Miami. Do you have a parking gate? Okay, uh, that is uh, ice detected. Okay, looks like we got an issue here. And, uh. Come on, man, don't do this. Alright guys, we're going down. Let's see if we can get her back under control. And Miami Center American 318 is under an ice emergency trying to get the aircraft under control. Uh, so we won't be exactly on our flight path right now. that nose down. Okay, get out of the danger zone. Gotta be calm. Number two, Romeo Autopilot Fox back on. Truck. Miami, hello, water for okay, you. We're increasing speed. So you can't panic when you have okay, those emergencies. I thought we were going down there for a second. Please refile. Okay, you guys saw that was an ice emergency. and We did have icing on before. Miami Center American 318 has got to hold back on the aircraft. We are climbing uh, back up to flight level 360 and uh, going back to normal speed. Thanks a lot for your help. American 318, no problem. Woo! All I did was grab the stick, guys, and get her back under control. You guys saw we had an ice emergency. Miami Center, good evening. Transat 814, flight level 19. All right, we got the anti icing on that happened really quick. That was close, man. Did you guys see that in flight emergency? Yeah, we iced up. Yo, what happened? Good, good say. Hey, appreciate that, Leo. Appreciate that. Shivam Portugal, he's from India. And hello, bro, how are you doing? Uh, Shebaum, appreciate you checking in. Guys, you saw that. That was a real in-flight emergency. 
Ah, uh, you cannot panic when that happens. You just got to grab the stick and, and pitch down and watch that speed. So, uh, we are going to keep the anti-ice on this bad boy just to be on, be on the safe side. Uh, man, the last time I, I flipped many times, thank goodness I saved it, but I had to divert. Yeah, I think we're good here. That was crazy. That was a crazy uh, situation there that just happened. Okay, Leo's at cruise. We will be at cruise, but we lost a lot of altitude there uh, for that emergency. So we, we dropped quite a bit. I'm sure the passengers are shaking up. I thought we were, I thought that was it guys. I thought we were going down, down, like down. Warden, what is up with you? She made it. Appreciate it. Give a big up to Shaq, of course. And uh, you guys is wonderful family. Shaq had an awesome stream yesterday, so thanks for checking in. And uh, whoo, thought we guys, I thought we was about to have one going down, you know what I mean? Unable to find you, ID. And you guys saw just before that I had just taken off the anti-ice and it was looking good and all of a sudden we hit that ice storm, so I'm gonna leave it on. Let's add another camera. So so thanks everybody for joining the stream. Added camera as well to category. Five. Sure, for sure. Bye y'all. Uh we're gonna add that in here. And let's step it over to this other side here. Uh thanks for letting them know. It looks like games. <laughs> yeah, you saved the plane for sure, man. We needed all your help. You had to funnel you and Shackinator's energy to save this bad boy. <laughs> you like that? Hey, tell Shack I'm calling him the Shackinator. <laughs> I like that for him. That's my G, the Shackinator boy. <laughs> That's my dog. I like uh, Shack is a good dude, man. I tell you what. You married right, man. You married right. Shack is a really good dude. Good Mary, and he married right as well. <laughs> all right. guys are awesome okay we'll get that view about right here all up in the engine all up in the engine <laughs> let's check our new views out guys boom boom I like it a lot let me see which one's better okay that one okay yeah they both they both nice they're both real nice hey y'all let's get some jazz <laughs> she said good one <laughs> yeah man Big up to the sh Shack Oatmeal family. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Let's get some jams on, y'all. It's kind of quiet. We are rolling with it. Hey, does anybody uh, know how to get the TCAS working on this thing? Let me see, first of all, if I'm close enough to even see anybody. I don't remember how to get the... I don't know why my stuff is not showing up on TCAS or the weather for that matter. Let's see here. We got the weather on. Okay, we got to put this part here to auto. Auto. System one. We should be getting some weather here. Let's see. Warning. 
Warden saying at Leo Stick, she's liking, and he's streaming too. He's streaming too. You can check his his stream out. He's we're doing a dual stream right now. Uh, so she's giving big ups to Leo for his uh, real in life content. Let me ask Leo. Let me go back. I think he stepped away. Let's see here. Let me turn on the stream. I ain't rolling on it tonight, so coming out of bro. Okay, let me just send him a little message, y'all. Red Kill, turn the switch to on on the transponder and the knob to TAR ray. Okay, let me try that. It is on. Thank you, Greg. Let me see. Unable to find view okay. ID 14. So it's on auto. We already have it on TAR ray, of course. And let's turn this to on. Let me see if that works. Yeah, weather all. It's on. At one five thousand to one one thousand with you. Toga locked. Delta twenty eighty six, Miami Center. Hello. Expect the ILS runway one left. Approach camp ultimate three zero zero one. Information hotels current. That's okay. She's still performing like she should, so that's all we're gonna worry about after the hit flight emergency. Dude, look at this. This is how it kind of got when we hit that ice storm. So I'm scared to take that off. Greg says, if you want to get the weather, turn up the gain. The angle down degrees has to be severe. Really show up. Yeah, Greg. My problem is, is that I was. Well, let me first of all, let me see. Uh, yeah, so what I'm tripping on, Greg, is none of the aircraft are showing up in my TCAS, and I got it ranged out. Let's range that out a little more and see if it works. Target 318, contact Jacksonville Center, 135 have a day. Jacksonville Center, 35 decibel, 9 or 2. Thanks for all your help, American 318. All right, y'all, 3592. American 2086, let's send them 18, 6000. Good evening, Jacksonville Center, American 318, checking in with you, flight level 327, climbing flight level 360. 318, Jack Center, hello. Phone 253, connect by 135.17. Now, there's one thing I'm going to check on this as well. Let's check our performance. 253, connect Miami 135.17. Like your uh, so progress delta. page. Your flight 1159, connect to Orlando approach 124.8. Okay, so we're going to have to be on that transition. Jack 10, 30, 51, 24, Victor, requesting ILS from Victor. 5124, Victor. She's still climbing at 900, so let's, uh, let's see how she does. If we get any more problems, then we'll. Uh, take care of that, but we are doing Mach point seven seven one. Primitive connect to Orlando approach one two four point eight. Yeah, so what I'm talking about, I don't see any aircraft showing up here. Uh, yeah, thanks for the tilt information. I I, I know about the tilt. Tilt her down a little bit. Yeah, we'll just tilt her down a little bit. Clear to ILS from a two seven approach. Sixty one twenty four degrees. Okay, less than 2,000 to go. American 1281. Yeah, I don't know. 
Does the toll list, does it use the terrain? It does use it. Look, let me, let me do terrain. The terrain works, but there's nothing on there. Like I said, I, I'm just not seeing the aircraft on here, which is like, I don't understand why, but I don't remember if this one had a problem with the aircraft being on there. So we'll keep that on for now and see how life treats us. All right, let me check you guys out in the chat. Houston Oceanic Offline Radar Service has terminated frequency change with advisory from Bruce. Frequency change approved, thank you. Roman is currently at it. Houston Oceanic Offline Radar Service. EB, I believe, within 2,000 feet and under 30 miles. Okay. The aircraft have to. Okay, all right, Greg. Thank you for that, brother. Appreciate you, man. You know how your boy needed some help. It was already lost in the sauce, so. That's what's up. All right. Let's keep it moving. You guys can see we got quite the distance to go. Just don't get an A1 approach, my G. <laughs> Greg, you silly. Hey, Greg, you gonna load up next oh, leg or what? We're going, to, we're, going, we're going to, uh, we're going to DFW, not Dallas. I mean, it's Dallas, but it's not that Dallas. Club 7, Romeo Papa, descendant pilot, let's scratch and maintain, follow both 320. boys uh, all right nice Greg can't wait to fly with you on the next leg that's what's up let's get a look on this side here so guys yeah we're rolling as you can see by the overlay we're about a quarter of the way through hold on when did I when did I become the valley when did I valley Yeah, you're guilty by association. 
Green at green light was supposed to roll with us too. Jackson Club of Main Team, So guys, if you haven't, go to uh, Leo Sticks 86's channel. He's in the chat here as well. You can find his tag. Let's check on our. Uh oh, here we go again. Ray's still at the office. He said he, uh, he's trying to, uh, I think he had somebody coming in. Uh, but he said he's going to definitely try to make the uh, second day. So I want to show y'all something, Mike. Right? Me and Green was talking about this earlier. We now something course. weird is going on here. We're uh, just below that line. I don't know why she's not maintaining. Being in it to get my PPL, things like this is it's definitely uh, something to watch out for. And a good learning. 1289 Jack Center, Spark 1027. For whatever reason she is I want to throw this out there right quick and see not being responsive there we go just a brief second point 35 42 living my airspace and minus center off line radar services trip and they frequency change approved so this this aircraft over to intercom on voice 35 42 obviously the type that I fly line radar services trip and they did frequency change approved uh, that I'm learning. Now so we gotta see what she's guy doing. Run smack into some power lines and we'll take off. So we're gonna watch this right here. Hold on. Yeah. Sure, a little off course. Um, are you? Uh, I'm pitching up. To go direct to a crest. I just need to get you in line with all the other aircraft going to Baton Rouge. So, so I'm, I want y'all to pay attention and see if y'all can figure out what he did, what he did wrong. Yeah, this is still on the side headed to Nagy. Let's go do that till the cross track. Yeah, so he's on his takeoff road. It's like a dirt airstrip. Somewhere in that. Delta 12, we can have a contact about 3 miles south of Columbia at Fallable 290 to send it. Pilot's discretion to maintain 1 to 1 11,000. Deep Earth Beach Alpha Vendor 2993. 2993 and Pilot's discretion to send it. Hey guys, we're having some issues here. Uh, you're it seems like they, they, they all survived. Uh, you know, uh, 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 for the stupidity of that, uh, that uh, uh, Let's run it back. I want y'all to And uh, uh, Jacksonville uh, Center, American 380 team is having some issues with our auto We're requesting to flight level 340. Down the flight, but three four zero three eighteen. All right, guys, we are gonna have to cycle the. We have no. Let's see, he's over here. Just microphones needed. I don't know if y'all hear heard that noise. Let's see what's going on here. We have no authority on our. All right. 
So let's take it back one more time, and we're gonna we're gonna talk about some of the things that Green and I talked about. Expect the Iowa. Uh, Green Shell is twenty nine. Just send it. Just maintain three thousand. You're clear and on step for the Iowa from my one hundred percent. This is a power. Obviously, this is this is a. It could be considered a salt field, but it looks like a dirt road or something. Um. So it may not be considered a salt field, but. The pilot, for one, underestimated his, his airplane. For two, he didn't know the capabilities of it. For three, he didn't know how much runway he needed to clear the foot out on the departure path. So those are, the, those are the first three of the crash. And what we may have to do is use our... The fourth one, and the most, one of the most important in my opinion. Yeah, we've got a serious issue with our throttles here, guys. Letter 6660, He's already moving. That ice storm really messed us up. Yet he's still increasing RPMs and throttle. He should have conducted a short field departure, held the brakes, let the RPMs get up and stabilize. Now right there, you hear the ink, ink? That's the stall warning horn going off already, and he's still trying to pull back. There's the wing drop that could be pilot induced, or it could be because he's stalled. Okay, right. So here's another. Here's another thing, Green. If you're watching, you said you, that you thought that the pilot made the left turn, and I said that. I believe that the left wing dropped because he was stalled. Uh, Greg, if you're watching, man, I got a problem here. My throttles are uh, getting disconnected. Big up, Rock. Let me see what we can do here. The yoke is to the right. Let's okay. uh, do some brakes here. He was trying to correct right back right as the plane rolled down because the left wing was stalled. So. He should have conducted a short field of departure. Like, there the brakes that go in. Check 41 miles south. I'm sure it'll be a work for the whole 100 euros. I'm going to maintain portable 380. He didn't understand what was 50 foot clearance runway requirement. The lower we get, he tried to force the takeoff at too high an angle of attack. Okay, all let's, four those reduce, let's get a little bit more flaps out there. I mean, it's, brakes. Lucky, it's, it's lucky that no one was killed. No I'm pretty sure that no flight point. And look at this. It's just that we don't have any control over so, our aircraft here. Just so, some things uh, to think about. Where, uh, sure that the, uh, whereabouts are you? Is, which is a concern for landing. We don't have any control of our speed. That's it, great. So we do have the brakes deployed right now, but we are having some serious issues. Uh, Greg, so look, I don't have any, uh, check this out, Greg. So after that ice storm, I lost authority. No, I'm not. <laughs> we are struggling here. We are having a hard time here, guys. This is not going well at all. Yes, speed brake is still out, but... Let's see. Good evening. Yeah, we're having major problems here, guys. Yeah, we're having major problems here, guys. We're over speeding. We have no authority. This is working, but it's not. It's not controlling the plane. Okay, there we go. Okay, back in the climb. One zero six four ten sixty four. Squawk 
See, she keeps, she keeps uh, just getting away from me here. I don't know what is going on here, man. We got the brakes out. Let's go max brakes. Okay, our vertical, go into manage speed, pushing the knob. Yeah, roger that. I, I did do that, too. You'll see, Greg. Uh, are you being vectored otherwise? No, we're not being vectored. But it's not going well here at all. Let's try to push it in. Look, heading's not working, nothing. Okay, let's see. I see why auto throttle. Let's see if the auto throttles will work now. Man, that ice storm really jacked us up. Okay, auto throttles are in. It looks like... Okay, there we go. Now let's go back to... Manage speed. So that part is good. Okay, let me go direct Blivens. I think I got it figured out now, guys. Man, this thing is giving me a hard time. Okay, I think we got it figured out now, guys. Woo! This thing, the auto throttle, I didn't catch it. It was off after the ice storm stuff was, but it looks like we're going to be okay now, guys. We're at flight level 340. Uh, thanks, Greg. <laughs> Thank you, sir. We ha we've had a serious in-flight emergency. Look, we're getting some terrain down there. No weather just yet. Let's see, it should be weather all. Let's turn that terrain off. There we go, weather all. All right, she is back under control for sure. I feel like we've been struggling the whole way. And uh, let's see here. What's Leo? Let's double check the wet the radar. Houston Center, 3442. Thanks for your service, American 318. All right, guys, 3442. Good evening, Houston Center, American 318. Checking in with you, flight level 340. Zero. I'd uh, like three aircraft at once. I assume you're all from Jacksonville, American 1281, Houston Center. Howdy, welcome. Houston Center, American 318, checking in, flight level 340. American 318, Houston Center, welcome. All right, guys, woo! We can relax. We're back in it. And I don't see any more weather. This is cause for concern. So now we can definitely turn the anti icing off. You know what? Let's just ride with it until we get on approach. I'm scared. <laughs> After what happened last time, because we thought we were clear of it, we turned it off, and boom, all of a sudden. But we are now back Delta managing 12, the control. Uh, Mach number. Mach 8. Delta all crews, everything's back where it should be, guys. Woo! Man, you never know what you're going to get. All right. Okay, there we go, y'all. So somehow, some way, we managed to stay in the good. And, uh... Point eight zero for American 1281. 
Down to Mach point seven eight, American uh, twelve eighty one. American three eighteen, maintain Mach point seven eight, French Hill Spacing, Chris. Okay, we'll maintain Mach point seven eight, American three eighteen. All right. Man, I think it's time for a flyby, y'all. Woo! Passengers are definitely frazzled on this one, y'all. Definitely frazzled, frazzled, frazzled. As is the pilot. <laughs> All right, we are making some type of headway, man. I tell you what. We definitely, I got to change the title of this one, In-Flight Emergency, boy. I was thinking this is not going well. We did all that work to get the aircraft up, and we're about to buy out. But we got her all figured out, y'all. We got her all figured out. Let's see these. Let me see how loud the sounds are. Let me check it really quick. Citation 3 Alpha Mike, get out for westbound flight levels to RDS and airspace to KKU 400. Actually, I'm sorry, what am I saying? Of course I can't, just in my team, but before there, there. Alright. Use my phone for a sound check. Gotta be uh, Skyhawk Sim Pilot, what up, man? How have you been, big dog? All right. All right. Try not to have it too loud. See if I can make some of these sounds. Uh, I've been busy in university studying piloting. That's what I'm saying. Come pick me up. Study that piloting, dude, so you can come save a brother. <laughs> Let me see if we got any volumes on this thing. This thing is kind of loud. Uh, aircraft on the ground, Austin, heading about 5 by 3, contact Houston Center at 125.17. Display reflections, cold and dark. He says, ah, let's see here. Can we radio 1, contact Baton Rouge approach, 120.3, see ya. 120.3, thanks for being here, we'll see you next time. You Thirty-nine twenty-three. Contact Baton Rouge approach. One two zero point three. Yes. Twenty-eight point three. I'm gonna contact thirty-nine twenty-three. Have a minute. Yes, sir. Pilot Club A twenty-three. Yeah, I think that's better on the sounds. Pilot Club Eight Twenty-three. Houston Center. Howdy. Keep it about right there. You guys let me know if it's too loud. Center, Pilot Club 215 and 3. All right. All right, the main. So, as you guys can see, we are not quite halfway through the flight, but we are most certainly and indeed indubitably rolling. And, uh, yeah. And we just got to sit here and listen to uh, ATC. Let me go back up really quick and just make sure that we don't have any issues. Plane is all good. Maintaining Mach 0.78. So I think one thing that I was missing in the confusion, because there's a lot going on. You're trying to keep the airplane from overstressing itself. Was the auto throttle had got disconnected at some point, but we are all good once again. And man, I'm just going to keep the engine anti-ice and everything on until we descend. I don't care. Let's take a look at our performance here and see... Uh, 705, cross 20 miles west of Funny Tiger DOR at 11,000. The Baton Rouge L2. Okay, estimated fuel on board once we get there is 4.7. Because we burn some extra fuel. So we're doing good there. Okay, and we're on course, looking good. Two zero miles west of the Fighting Tiger view. Man, this girl gave me a run for my money today. The passengers are going to be 
staying frazzled for this whole ride till we get on the ground they probably never gonna fly american again but it wasn't our fault on this one it was the weather uh because we did if you see we did have our uh, icing on anti-icing on then it looked like it was cleared up there was no indication of any weather above us and all of a sudden in an instant it turned to ice and uh yeah that was that was crazy we were able to Across save it but they kind of struggled from that point approach on 120.3 yeah. approach on 705 you copy that say clarence all right okay i'm satisfied i think we're good to go here All right. Hope everybody's doing good today, man. And uh, we are literally just riding along. It looks like we had caught up to Leo. That's why he backed us off for spacing. It looks like we're going to be in uh, Houston Center airspace for quite some time. So, and I'm leaving that anti-icing on, man, because there's a weather system. Uh, let me show you what I got. Let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you guys. Okay. Houston Center, American 2740 Houston Center. Hello, maintain Mach 0.78 for entry space. Mach 0.78 for. Okay, here we are. This is Stellar. This is us, and this is Leo. You can see there's just a little bit of weather here. There's going to be some weather to our north. So if we go to Chi Town afterward. Looks like there's a little weather up there too. And here is uh, Dallas Fort Worth. We've got a weather system right off to the west. Oh, was that last call for America 318? United 523 Houston Center. Hello, climb me all right so anyway that's what we're looking at we're currently like i said at the southeast of his airspace here there we are and he's spacing us out and he sees that we're all going to our same direction except this guy i don't think he's, he's going miami to let's see where he's going american 1281 okay he's going to k dallas uh we were uh, cruising at 0.80 for american 1281 Roger. Yeah, I'll have that cruise for you back in about uh, 20 more miles. Okay, sounds good, American 1281. All right. I'll pick you up when I get my uh, IFR license and we'll get a bite to eat. Hey, that's what's up, Skyhawk. Pick your boy up and let's go get something to eat. You know what's up. Got to feed the belly. All right, guys, so not doing too bad here. Just clicking right along, guys, clicking right along. Appreciate all you guys' support, man. Hey, and if you guys are just checking in, we are doing a dual stream uh, with uh, Leo Sticks 86 so check him out. My boy, Rai Rai, what's up, man? You're the man. You're the man, Rai Rai, man. Hey, load up, Rai Rai. Fly with us next leg, dude. We're flying uh, DFW up to either St. Louis or O'Hare. We haven't quite made a decision, so we'll have to ask Leo uh, which one he wants to do. But big up, Rai Rai, man. We got to get you in the flight group again as well, so uh, hope you're doing well, brother. All right, we'll keep an eye out for the traffic. Yes, sir. Attention 73 Mike Zulu, Houston Center, howdy. Climb and maintain public 410, clear direct McComb, you are. Mike, try to grab us. Up to 410, direct McComb, 573 Mike Zulu. Checking my active sky as well. Added 523, climb and maintain public 330. Mike, we're taking to this year. At 523, receiving a computer code, Squawk 7401. Rai Rai says, uh, Greg Hill says, I vote St. Louis uh, for I just got my PDC for that airport. Okay, roger that. Rai Rai says, I'm on the way to Portland from San Diego, man. If I wasn't already doing it, I would. Okay, that's what's up, Rai Rai. You know, you know I got to ask, big dog. You know I got to ask. 
Uh, okay, Greg, uh, did uh, did Leo, is he cool with St. Louis as well? <laughs> I'm assuming you're already in. Uh, let me check out. Greg's probably already loaded up in Dallas-Fort Worth. You're saying he just got his PDC. <laughs> Oh, yep, I see you there, Greg. I see you, American 7-Eleven. You're already at Dallas-Fort Worth. Okay, that's what's up, Greg. I'm proud. And I actually speak slowly so you can understand. I used to do that. Greg Hill says, at the gate of Dallas, uh, ready to roll. Roger that, bro. American 18 is currently traveling Mach 0.78. American 318, what was your Mach speed previously? Was it point eight zero? Yeah, I think it was point eight zero on the uh, for American 318. 318, maintain Mach 0.80. 0.80 for American 318, big slot. American 12, 2740, same for you. Uh, you can maintain Mach 0.80. Change our cruise here. Three wings eighty four sixty. Trying to get a longer back to climb and maintain flight level three three zero. Point eight zero. Climb to maintain flight level one nine zero. Set to maintain flight level one nine zero. Pilot code eight twenty three. Alright, we'll just keep it managed, boys. Then once we go into the descent, we'll push it back in and let it do its thing on the descent. Now with that increase, estimated fuel on board is uh, still 4.5 getting there. Hello, Houston, 7576, flight level 280, coming out from Manchester 7. I'm Club 711, Houston Center, hello, welcome. And Houston Center, Pilot Club 899 is at flight level 280. I'm Club 899, Houston Center, hello, welcome. Okay, see here we go. Estimated fuel on board, 4.5, so we're still good. So we'll be light in the fuel tank, so we can't really afford too many go-arounds or any shenanigans because we only got four, another 4,000, uh, 4,500 pounds of fuel. Club 18, contact that approach, 120.30 CO. Approach on 120.30 CO, we're going to be at 6 rate TC. Okay, we're getting some views there off the coast now, guys. Great Aviation is in the house, man. Thanks for checking in. Aviation Geek says, I'm driving. No worries, Great Aviation. You're not late, man. 
<laughs> you might want to go back though about 20 30 minutes we were having an ice emergency plane was all over the place man but we we managed to get her back under control so uh i'm gonna need to see if i can step out the cockpit for a second I want to talk to Leo so we can get the flight plan. Alright, so what we're going to do, we're already monitoring, so we're just going to switch our mic. Boom, boom, room, check in. Boom, boom, room, check in. All right. Are you going to do another leg? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, you got to rewatch that later. Uh, yeah, we're going to do another leg. Next leg is going to be Dallas Fort Worth to St. Louis there, Gray Aviation. That's what's up. So right, right now we're monitoring. All we got to do is switch the mic when we want to talk on this frequency. So. Alberto D, man, what's up, Berto? How you doing? Alberto D, you, you changed it from Berto 360, huh, bro? Hey, good to see you, Berto. I hope you're well, brother. I hope you are well, for sure, for sure. Okay, we're about halfway through the flight, boys. And any station is net, any station is net. Radio check. Traffic at shore, one o'clock, southbound through flat level descending. He's like, yep, yep. I figured that. <laughs> hey, Berto, man, we had an ice emergency uh, earlier. <laughs> Rai Rai says, Dre, I had read some of the things. I had read some things about you, and you are the kind of person I'm glad exists. Thanks for you, all you do, mate. I hope that's good, Rai Rai. But thank you, brother. Yeah, I got you. You in the boom boom room? I hope so. It's showing I'm transmitting. Yeah, that, I always double check the client to make sure what I'm doing. But yeah, that way. So are we doing uh, Dallas Fort Worth, St. Louis? Yeah, so from from my understanding. Right, right, says very good. Thank you, right, right. Thank you, Berto, for saying that. He says all is good. I'm glad that. I'm glad. I'm glad, Berto. Let's get back up front really quick. Well, it just sounds like Greg already got his PC for St. Louis, but like at this point, we kind of have to go to St. Louis, and then we have to fly out of there and go to work. Okay, Roger that. So we can probably do uh, do St. Louis and then go up to Minneapolis or Chicago here if y'all cool with that. Okay, Roger that. So I'll get my flight plan ready for DFW to St. Louis, and then we'll plan St. Louis to O'Hare after that. And that'll be all right. That'll still be making it interesting. We'll have a couple of extra landings uh, on the three legger. Uh, down to one six thousand two nine nine or six pilot club two fifteen. Yeah, Roger that. Great aviation, yeah, this is the Tolis A321. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, yeah, right, right. I hope you're good. Can't wait to fly with you again, man. Thanks for saying that nice stuff. Uh, 
And I appreciate everybody checking in, big dogs. We're trying to get Leo Sticks 86 to 600 subs, so let's do our best to try to help my man do that. And uh, we're doing good. Okay, boys, so I'm going to go switch back over as far as my mic to the ATC, but I am going to continue to monitor uh, the Boom Boom Room, which I think you guys should too, just in case we need to talk. But I will switch my microphone now back over to ATC. All right, that's firm. I'll follow suit. Roger that. Okay, Mayor's got the main cover. You should send off my main cover. Unable to find you. Unable to find you. So all we do to do that, guys, we go back here. And now we'll be transmitting if we talk on the uh, regular, but we can hear the boom boom room as well. So, so let's turn the boom boom room up as well. That's why they're coming in kind of low. Two one zero, Savannah. Club seven eleven. Uh, Ray says, "Nice, nice. I was going to pull the trigger and buy it, but I prefer GA aircraft. You recommend any GA aircraft? Oh yes, I got a bunch of GA aircraft that I recommend. PC twelve, Hot Start TBM, Hot Start uh, Saab three four S three forty, the Thronda C two hundred six, which is a caravan." Um, a whole bunch, yeah. I, I love GA as well. I even okay, love the nine, Dornier DO 228, which is uh, you know, a weird looking plane, it's still in service, uh, but it, it's, it's just a weird, weird looking plane, yeah. So, I got a, I got a few ones, man. I'll, I'll recommend to you for sure. They're way aviation, that's what's up. It's like we're back over some land there. Let's see here, I'm gonna have to uh. Step away from the cockpit here in a minute. Let me see how much more longer we got Houston Center. Center America 3018 with a request. Houston Center uh, request for America 318. The 318 standby on the line. Oh, okay. Uh, Title Club 711, turn 10 degrees right. 10 degrees right, 711. But you need that 81 on the Title request. Club 711, <laughs> <laughs> He's silly. He, he said I need to A1. <laughs> you silly, Leo. He's silly. I gotta hit the latrine. Eyeballs is over here floating. <laughs> Eyeballs is over here floating. 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 Eyeballs is Seven Romeo Pop, uh, Houston Center, Roger, descend maintain 16,000, Baton Rouge altimeter 2906. 16,000, land ahoy! Hehehe. Pop Club 215, descend maintain 16,000. Chicken Nuggets in the house, what's going on, big dog? Binga's in the house, how you doing, Binga? And, uh, Pop Club 7 Romeo Pop, uh, Gray Aviation says, thanks, man. I've been flying the Quest Kodiak Cessna Mustang and the Epic E-1000, so I'm looking into that aircraft. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Those are good aircraft as well, brother. Uh, Greg Hill says, it's interesting to watch DFW Ground on Twitch. Yeah, I'm going to have to look it up. Greg, what's their what's their Twitch channel? Is it just DFW Ground? What's the Twitch channel, Greg? Power Club 711, fly heading 260. 260, Chicken Nugget says, love the streams. Hey, that's what's up, Chicken Nugget. I appreciate you, man. Thank you for all your comments and your support. 1576. Okay, thank you, Greg. I'm going to have to check that out. Come on, dude. I just need to get out of the cockpit for like three, four minutes. Houston Center American 318 requesting to step away for four minutes. Sorry, 
whoever's asking to step away, uh, go for it. Yeah, roger that. That's American 318. We'll be back on channel in four minutes. I'll report back in. Thanks a lot. Okay, guys, I'll be right back. Uh, you guys keep rolling, and I'll be right back, boys. I just need to hit the latrine really quick. My eyeballs are floating, and I'll be right back with y'all momentarily. Momentarily, I'll be right back. That is the right back. I'll be right back. Go ahead. Would you call on UPS 325 Heavy? 325 Heavy, leaving my airspace to the south. Change to advise these are the crew to Houston Oceanic is offline. We'll see you next time. Uh, we're off to the unit comfort. Yeah, UPS 325 Heavy. See ya. Uh, Club 711, contact. Uh, actually, stand by. Stay with me for a second. Club 899, just 88, 1000. 789, defend maintain 1000. Pilot, let me in again. Southwest 1030, holding short. 155. Club 1030, just stand by. I've got like 15 airplanes going into Baton Rouge, and we lost the 88 control. Just give me a second, I'll be right with you. No worries, take it back. Appreciate it. Power Club 711, contact Baton Rouge Approach, 120.3. Baton Rouge, 120.3, 711. Club 215, just to maintain 11,000. 11,000, Power Club 215. Power Club 7, Romeo Papa, actually disregard. United, 2046, with your 15,000. 2046, Houston Center, hello, climb and maintain, Power Club 230. How about 200 is final? Uh, sure, that works. Climb and maintain flight with 200. 200, United 2046. Club 215, contact Baton Rouge Approach, 120.3, see ya. 120.3, see ya. Alright, Baton Rouge Approach, Baton
All right, everybody, I am back at Houston Center, American 318 is back on the station. American 318, welcome back. All right, y'all, let's see here. Gray Aviation says, Dre, have you seen the new AD Simulation 700, 900? Are you talking about the CRJ? Uh, which I do have AD Simulation CRJ 700. Uh, what are your views on the 767 400? I like it. Leo Sticks 86 who's streaming right now uh, Chicken Nugget. He actually used that aircraft uh, in one of his streams. It looked pretty nice. I, I, I totally am a fan of the uh, 786 uh, 767 for sure 200 300 and 400 so yeah. Club seven, Romeo, Papa, contact, uh, Baton Rouge approach. Yep. Uh, yeah, I, I have AD simulations, uh, CRJ seven hundred for sure, bro. Yes, I do. They released the nine hundred now as well. Nice. I kind of wish they would do a little bit more fidelity on the textures, but other than that, that's pretty dope. Other than that, it's pretty dope. While I was out, I also got my H two O. Driven thirty five oh one Houston Center, howdy. We are rolling right along. Three off the mic. Roger, San Antonio. It looked nice. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. All right. Houston Center American 58. Riding right along. American 58, anyone? Houston Center, hello, squawk 7424, Anaheim. 7424 in the box. Okay, three off the mic. San Antonio reports at 2 2 o'clock, about one five miles in field time. There we go, look at that scenery. It's looking quite nice, if I do say so myself, Mike. Okay, three Mike, contact Antonio Tower on 119.8, uh, see ya. Antonio Tower, Houston Center, hello, squawk 7424, She's looking clean. She is looking clean. Hey, appreciate you, my G. Leo says, boy, you got that A321 over there looking mighty sexy. Hey, ditto, boy, that uh, A320, boy, looking good, boy. Uh, let's see. Graham Cracker says, this is very scary. I suggest you land the plane now. <laughs> Uh, he says, I was thinking of getting into Vatsim as it seems cool. Yeah, Chicken Nugget, Vatsim is cool, man. It gives you that additional immersion uh, in terms of your whole flying experience, following procedures, testing yourself as a sim pilot, you know, uh, you know, controlling your aircraft, aviating and navigating and communicating. Uh, that's what's up. Yeah, ground cracker. We ain't landing the plane yet, my G. We gonna go all the way in, Graham Cracker. We no uh, limit soldiers here. No limit soldiers. About uh, 30 miles from him. Uh, he says scary taking his cat to the basement. Zero. Okay. Defend via the kids three arrival. Yeah, and the ability to communicate uh, with ATC is awesome. Yep. No uh, doubt. Two niner niner zero. It's awesome for in real life training. I love it for that. Yeah, it is. Along with pilot edge too. All right, guys, let's go check what our top of descent is. Let's see. Okay, top of drop, 212 nautical miles. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead as well and uh, check the weather. 
so that uh, we can see if there's been any changes made in the uh, doggone DFW area. Okay, weather is okay. It's out of the south at 10 knots, 10 static miles. Uh, altimeter there is 2987. Temperature is 37 degrees Celsius. There is some uh, scattered clouds. Looks like at 12,000. And uh, broken at uh, flight level 250. And few clouds at 8,500 feet. So, oh, Fort Worth Center's on. Go tell my G that. Was that for Delta 512? 512, that's correct. Contact Fort Worth Center on 135. Hey, it looks like Fort Worth Center's on, brother. American 1281, which is the that uh, Fort Worth Center's on. Oh, disregard, Southwest 1030, sorry, my mistake. Uh, squawk 7332, United. 7332, Anybody on the boom boom room? Okay, they probably not monitoring. Whoever was talking on the boom boom room, your microphone was muted. I didn't get anything you said. Okay, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Just giving you a heads up. I'm going to go ahead and pre plan the frequency here in a minute. some of these stuff here on the Abbey tab. So we'll truly see which runway we're taking into uh, Dallas or uh, Dallas Fort Worth, yeah. Aviation's asking Dre, do you have the V flight? Uh, was that the Piper 28R Arrow 3? Uh, I think I do have a Piper. I don't know if it's this one though. Uh, I gotta go check. I'd have to check on that, man. It's Hook. It's the uh, I don't know for the three departure. Hotel Oscar Oscar Kilo Kilo. But guys, you can see we'll be descending here very shortly. We are. 
Definitely three quarters away done with the flight. And uh, we'll be going into Dallas Fort Worth Center. We do have ATC, so it will be interesting. 5881 clear track jab, descent maintain 2000. Appreciate each and every one of you riding along on the stream, guys. We're making it happen. We're making it happen. This has definitely been a tumultuous flight, there, guys. Twenty-seven forty. What was your mock speed before we put you on seven eight? Mock point eight one. Twenty-seven forty. You can redo mock point eight zero for trail spacing. All right. So it's been a minute since I landed this bad boy, so hopefully we have a good landing. Uh, Graves says, all right, I like that uh, you can change between steam and the Garmin. Uh, seems like an overall nice aircraft at a good price. Yeah, it's pretty decent price. I, I like it when the aircraft is not overpriced, but you get your bang for your buck and all the features that it has, and it's got good textures and uh, good model systems and good flight dynamics. You know, that's what makes, for me, uh, makes a good hit for an aircraft. And, and the more realistic and more detailed they are while optimizing the FPS is when I'm willing to pay for more. I never, never, uh, buy the aircraft right when it first comes out. I never buy it when they first drop. Not on any of my simulators. Not on DCS, not on ATS, not on X-Plane. None of them. Uh, I'll wait a little bit just to make sure that aircraft is optimized and up to my standards because I do believe in patronizing and supporting the developers. How, however, I don't like to jump the gun and buy stuff ahead of time or right when it's released because I know it's going to be bugged not to mention I want to see what it looks like so and not to mention as soon as the new aircraft comes out all the content creators my peers they'll stream it right away some of them not all of them and I think it's just uh, overkill yeah Gray Aviation says he doesn't either no doubt but nonetheless guys uh, we do have a great Number flight sim community on uh, X-Plane 11. Uh, I don't have Microsoft 2020. It's bug right now, so I'll get it when I finish my next build on my next computer. But uh, even on that one, because uh, I am a product of the Microsoft Flight Sim 2002, uh, 2009, FS10. I did all those, so that's that's where I was birthed into the Flight Sim community there. And then, of course, once I got my hands on X-Plane 11, I actually had X-Plane 10. Uh, but never really use it. But once X Plane 11 came out, it was it was a no brainer. X Plane 12 comes out, boom, yeah. And uh, Gray says it's also good for updates. Aviation Geek says I'm back. Just uh, shut down the night and eating some hot wings. Ooh boy, the other day you was eating country ham, now you eating hot wings. Aviation Geek, that's what's up. Don't make me hungry. Right now, all I got is this water man and it's nothing to chew on. <laughs> I do have some wobble grub. Actually, South Plus 23, just resume on navigation uh, for now, and I'll get back to you. Don't worry about it. See, we should be getting a switch over here pretty soon. And there is weather. Oh, my goodness. There is a little bit of weather we're going to pass through. So, let's make sure that... Come on, let's right quick. Where you at? Okay, send it American 1281. I'm on comm too. Okay, I got you there. Southwest 1240, ready to contact. Uh, Climb and maintain 1 and 2000. Hey, let's run, uh, let's run it like we did last night. Out of, uh, out of Fort Worth, let's try to time it up so we get a nice uh, either sunset or, or, or even in late evening uh, arrival. That's the St. Louis Club 217, just to maintain 1 1000. Baton Rouge, I'll Okay, yeah, roger that, Broski. Uh, you just let me know what time you're going to set your send for, and I'll follow suit, big homie. Jason Center, Mitsubishi, uh, November 6th. Okay, Roger that. Ditto. Back over to center. Yeah, just let me know when, homie, and I'll set that uh, after I replace. We restart. I'll set the sim for whatever time you want. No worries, John. Yeah, that's fine. Climb and maintain. Okay. Okay. Two three zero. Thanks, Larry. Twenty forty six. Contact Baton Rouge approach. One two zero point three. See bird dog. We should be getting a switch here in a minute. Austin Parker, Southwest 1605, 
All right, let's check our top of drop. Okay, top of drop, 133 Northwest, miles. 1605, Houston Center, hello, radar contact. Maintain 4,000 for now. Maintain 4,000, 1605. 1605, you can uh, fly present heady for now, have on course for any So next flight will be like a nightlight. Uh, Gray Aviation says, what's the thing you're most excited for an X-Plane 12? Just the different dynamics and things that we had to do third party here that will be an X-Plane 12 plus just more optimization. Hopefully X-Plane 12 uses uh, all the cores in your computer and uh, splits the load uh, accordingly so it runs a little bit better. So I'm just, I'm just a fan of X-Plane. So uh, X-Plane 12, I'm just excited for everything. And you know, the flight physics obviously are always an attractive uh, item for me as well. So, how about you, man? What you excited for? Gray Aviation about X Plane 12. Traffic, 12 uh, KFC now. Hot Wings. Hey, but still, that Hot Wings, boy. Uh, the Colonel. Say so you ate with the Colonel. <laughs> that boy was eating something American with the Colonel. Center, Fort Worth Center, 135.175. See you next time. 135.175 with American Flutter Wing 740. Have a great evening. And Houston Center American 318. I don't think we ever got to switch. Would you like us to contact uh, Dallas Fort Worth Center as well? American 318. Uh, yeah, actually contact. I thought I called you, but maybe I missed you. Uh, Fort Worth Center on 135.175. See you next time. All right, sir. No worries. Thank you. Over to Fort Worth Center for American 318. Good evening, Fort Worth Center American 318. Checking in with you. Flight level 340. Okay, guys, we are going to be descending via the uh, Bari 1. Bari 2545, Charlie, descent of maintain 4000. The Monroe wind 2906, Alpha 3993. That's all the sounds coming out for you guys. Is anything too loud? Are you guys getting the ATC good? Is the music too loud? Let me know. Because uh, I did adjust the. Uh, sounds of the uh, aircraft engines which I thought were a bit loud. You guys let me know how it sounded to you guys. Everybody hearing everything good? Oh yeah, the weather. Just, I'm very excited for the weather and the aircraft, but honestly everything. Me too. Let me do it my own. Yeah, sounds good to me. Okay, cool. Aviation Geek. That's what I want. Thank you, Aviation Geek. Boy, my G, you always on it, man. How, how could I ride without you, Aviation Geek? <laughs> Big up to you and everybody riding along, man. This has been an interesting flight, so uh, let's see, let me call Leo and see what uh, terminal he's going to be uh, landing at or arriving at. Hey, American 1281, this is American 318. Which uh, terminal are you going to uh, park at in uh, Dallas Fort Worth? Give him a minute to switch over. And he's further along, so he might already be busy. American uh, 1281, this is American 318, your boy Dre. Hey, real quick, which runway, uh, which terminal are you parking at, brother, in Dallas Fort Worth? On the phone. Okay, Roger that. How about you, man? Which which uh which terminal are you parking at? Come on, Alpha twenty eight, something like that. Southwest eleven, runway one three left, taxi via Bravo. And okay, Roger that. I think I'll do the Alpha terminal as well. Bravo, Mike. Six, one, four, three, one, three, one, three, uh, uh, now it's kind of like not one airport where everything is kind of the same. It's like a mixture of different. Different varieties, like you get some heavy gates and like some medium gates, but it's kind of, kind of like various. Hey, my bad. I was uh, talking to Green. He just getting to the crib. He's about to load up. Uh, now, what'd you say, uh, Drake? Oh no, I was just wondering what terminal you were parking at in the uh, Dallas-Fort Worth area. 
That's a good goddamn question. Let me uh, look at it right <laughs> quick. I'll get right back to you. Okay, Roger that. Even though American does, it is Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. American parks at all those, so I think we just pick whatever one you go with. Okay, let me pull up the airport chart right quick and see. Uh, I'm planning a uh, uh, 17 center. Yeah, that's um, what I'm doing. They got like any one violator is associates. Did, did, did they take what? Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie? Yeah, Roger. The reason I'm going to go ahead and pick Alpha, because if we're still departing to the south, uh, the weather stays the same. That'll be a nice short taxi to take off. So I'm going to probably, uh, I, I would vote for Terminal A. Well, it don't matter because we're restarting the time anyway, right? No, yeah, Roger that. But what I was saying, our taxi will be very short if we take Terminal A, regardless if we start the sim or not. I was just saying Terminal A might be the one to go with, uh, even when we park, so we can come back and restart where we left off of, even though we're starting to sim. All right, I concur. We, we take, uh, take Alpha. <clears throat> Roger that. Flight lead, flight lead. Alpha it is. Switch it back over to the DFW airport site. Roger. All right, so we are back on Creek now. You guys can see there goes our top of the center here. Arrival, DFW altimeter 2987. Descent via the Barry 1, 2987 for the altimeter, American 1281. So 2987. Four center, well, uh, this is 2740, what work will we be taking? 2740, uh, you can plan on 17 Center. Yep, 17 Center. We called it from the beginning, boys. We called it. I fly into Dallas Fort Worth quite a bit. Uh, yeah, Aviation Geek, that's the plan. I got to check with Leo, but that's the plan to get up on that for sure, man. Oh, Sheezy. Hey, I know you're going to be there. You, I need your eyes on that one, Aviation Geek. I need all your eyes because you see I got four, so I need two more to make it six. So, and if you wear glasses, that'll make it eight even better. <laughs> hey man, I'm on the East Coast and I gotta wake up at six, so I better get off. Keep up, keep up the good work. Hey, appreciate you, man. Chicken nugget. Uh, get you some rest, big dog. And uh, yeah, thank you for riding along, man. And we'll see you on the next one. And uh, go back and watch the replay. And uh, hopefully we fly with you one day, brother. Take care, man. Thanks for all the chat and the, uh, you know, keeping it frosty in the chat. I like that. Big up to you. Finally, a moment of peace and quiet. Down tech joint. All right. So let's go ahead and start checking our arrival in the FMC. Okay, we are transitioning via peanuts from Muzzy 290, uh, flight level 300240 at Muzzy. So 290, flight level 268, which is copacetic because uh, if you look there, uh, Muzzy's at 290, then we've got uh, the Barry at 280 at uh, 220 or 200. 11, RNF, door set, runway 13 left, clear okay, for takeoff. Okay, that'll work. 0.63. RNF, door set, 13 left. I don't know why that's giving us a mock there. Let's see what's below it. 271, okay, that'll work. Uh, so 0.63, flight level 215. Okay, that's copacetic. Bell should be at 270. Uh, 17,000, 15,000. Okay, that's cool. 271. Let me check something out here. I don't like the way it says mock point. Let's see, Barry should be at 280. 
but maybe it's giving us that. Let's see. Why is he too nighty? Let me see something. Okay, yeah, that's that's correct, right, man? So two one five. Speed constraint two eight zero. Yeah, that's it. So it's in there two zero zero. There's the speed constraint, and uh, we obviously yep two eight zero. Okay, so it's for whatever reason it's just reporting in a Mach number, which is kind of crazy, man. But it looks like we got everything set up there. So let's rock over here, and we don't want to activate that phase, but we can put some information in here. Uh, two nine or eight seven was the given altimeter. Current temperature in Dallas Fort Worth. Let's just check it. You know I like that fresh matter. Okay, 150, 12 knots. Back 318, send via the Barry 1 arrival. DFW altimeter 2987. Okay, Dallas Fort Worth altimeter 2987will be descending via the Barry 1 arrival, American 318. Okay, now the TCAS is working. It looks like you're through the runway 18 right there we go. final so approach course. There is the TCAS, so we'll, we, we will be doing right that. Going there to join a final for 18 right. So yeah, let's look have, at the bottom. I have the final going. It's pretty Let's look at the bottom here. It's 11,000. Okay. Southwest 121, we're still going for the approach on 18 right. This 121, Roger, looks like you're correct in there. Fine. Contact DFW to our 126.55. Good night. 12655, let's get that in there now. 12655. Stay ahead of the aircraft, that's the whole goal, right? Alright, 12655, there is no approach. Yeah, there's no approach. Okay, guys, we also need to worry about our minimums, so we got that set. We got top of drop coming up here quickly. Our TCAS is working. I guess those planes were just too far out because we got an aircraft. I wonder if that's Leo in front of us. It probably is because, remember, we dropped down to 340. Okay, on the approach, our minimums are 762. So let's get that in there now. Get that situated here. All right, uh, we said the minimums are 762. 762, decision height. Okay, saying enter destination data. So right now we got 15012. Temperature there is uh, 36 degrees Celsius. And uh, we're going to be landing in configuration three. So our V approach is 148. Here's our transition altitude, ILS 17 center, so we don't have to adjust any type of frequencies or headings. That's what I'm the Airbus is just such a pleasure to fly. Airport, so at 12 o'clock at 5 miles. When she's not iced over, <laughs> we're okay. keeping this icing on until yeah, we get down. All right, number 5-4, so Charlie, once we land, four, five, Charlie, clear to visual approach, runway 22, and then to the right now, and runway 22, clear to land. We're going to land center here. We're going to the right now, one two two clear visual. Two, we'll two, exit eight, stage right, lane. back taxi to Alpha. All right. Leo says I'm off BBR Freak on Com 2 trying to pick up ATIS. Okay, roger that, Leo. Appreciate you saying that. Aviation Geek says I like chicken nuggets. <laughs> chicken nuggets says, yep, see you Saturday night on the street. Okay, roger that. Roger that. Roger. Uh, the top altitude of the city is 8,000 there, so make sure you maintain 8,000 next time or just call up on departure there. Climb maintain flottable 380 now. We are doing good. Okay, 
It's a miracle we made it this far after that ice emergency, you know what I mean? That was definitely crazy. That's a muy crazy, you know what I mean, man? All right, y'all. Rock City rolling with us too, right? Green's gonna be there. He just got to the crib, so he'll be loading up. So it's gonna make for another set of interesting legs there. Okay, let's go back up front. Okay, guys, we're doing good. Top of descent, 16 miles. Perfect, perfect. Put this one back on the flight plan mode now that we have our information on there for our arrival. Distance 14, 13. Let's see where that aircraft is in front of us. Okay, that must be a no factor now. They're not on the TCAS anymore, which is good. And it's crazy, all that weather. We never, uh, we never reported anything. Let's get our tilt back to center there. Back to 2740, descend via the Barry 1 arrival, DFW altimeter 2987. Descend via the Barry 1 arrival. Six miles to go to top and drop. Yeah, and we'll be getting the ATIS as well. As soon as we start our descent. At about two nautical miles, we'll go ahead and do it. We back this off. You can see it's super close. Okay, guys, let's go ahead and start our descent. At Dallas Fort Worth Center, American 318 is vacating flight level 340, starting our descent to be at the very one right. Roger. Okay. Delta 512, descent and maintain 6,000. Expect a visual approach. You can see it, it allowed the aircraft to slow its engines down a little bit. And you can see we're getting it right here. And she should stay perfectly with the VNAV profile there that you see. As she's ascending, we'll monitor and make sure she doesn't exceed any of the stress level on the aircraft there, as you see. And uh, let's uh, try to get that ATIS really quick. Let's pause the track IR. Bada bing, bada boom. And the ATIS there is 23775. Twenty three seven seven five. Either we're too far away, or it's not working, which happens sometimes because we are supposed to be receiving that on transmission. We'll try back here in a minute. Uh, American twelve eighty one. Did the eight? Did the eight is work for you? Probably is not. He's probably trying to check the ATIS as well. But at no rate, guys, we are working our way in. Now, once we get to Deets, we need to be on the heading at 356, and then he'll vector us more than likely. That's our instructions. Even though I have the aircraft set up to go direct to. Uh, The initial approach fix, which I believe is bossy, so headman. Let's check that out. The flight plan. Okay, 
Okay, there's Headman. And after Headman, it's Decel, but it's going direct to Bossy, so we're not going to do that. Uh, of course, we are going to follow the instructions, so we'll get on it. After, after we get on Deets, I'm just going to go to the, the heading that we're supposed to be on. So that we don't get any trouble, man. Barry, we're supposed to be between 230 and 200. Got about 20 miles to go there, so that's that's definitely going to happen. All right, she's pitching down again. Let's get our standby at 2987. Back 12 anyone expect to visit approach, show my 17 center. But expect a visual approach for a 17 center, uh, and also be advised I'm not getting the aid that's coming through for DSW. Roger. Okay, so he wasn't getting aid if he just answered my question. Watching this. Gotta watch it closely. She's just underneath there. I don't know why they would have it that close, but uh, if we get any alert warnings, we'll take that off for sure. Take that over. This girl is. Okay, that's good now. It's, it's getting a little bit higher. The lower we go, the higher this barber's pose will go because it won't be distressing the aircraft. Starting to show up here on the chart. And we're already at flight level 224, so that's good. And I honestly think it was that Mach number. Let's see, because that Bells. See, we're supposed to be 280 there, so we're speeding. Remember that Mach number that I was concerned about? See, Bells would be at 270, so let's slow her down to 270. So. Got those brakes out there. All right, guys. Chelsea Womack, yo, 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 DFD Ground here, hanging out with Greg. Can't wait to see you. Uh, nice, nice. We got the actual DFW Ground in the stream. Thank you for joining. Uh, appreciate your controlling, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Greg Hill. Yep, I see you, Greg. That's what's up. <laughs> good job. Good job, Greg. Appreciate you checking out the stream there, Chelsea, and thanks for controlling us in the Dallas Fort Worth. Got a to maintain 2,000 of us near the airport in sight. Uh, I have the airport in sight down to 2,000 of us. Got a 512 clear to visual approach from my 13 left. Okay, ground spoil is our arms. Five mile final. Now we can push it back in because we're past that waypoint. Let's come off a of standard. 29 or 87 is the altimeter. Two nine or eight seven. Oh yeah. Alright guys. So don't forget, once we get direct from Deets to Whoop. 
I'll put it in the Green heading team, mode. Expect a best approach from my 17 center. Contact regional approach 125.02. Okay, we're expecting 17 center on the visual. Regional approach 12572 for American 318. 1281, regional approach 125.02. 25.02 for region approach, uh, American 1281. Let's see here. Regional approach. Yep, 25025. 25025. I don't even think I repeated it back right. Delta 512, do not exceed a 5 mile final. Runway 13 left. Three, seven, three, 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 three. Let's get the tower frequency set up, staying ahead of the aircraft. We'll get the music off here in a second. Good evening, regional approach, America 318 with you, 15,400 descending via the Barry 1 arrival. And we do have the weather at the field, however, the ATIS is not reporting. Let's get that music up. And uh, can you say again, last transmission, there was some background noise. I didn't quite get the, uh, the full transmission there for American 318. American 318, regional American 2nd, 1-7-7. Expected 1-7-7, American 318. All right, guys, once we get to 10,000, we'll get the landing lights on. You can see now we're getting ready to hit Deets at 11,000. We need to be at 220 knots. Let's make sure our rusty, dusty FMC's got that. Deets, 220, 11,000, that's what's up. Then from that point, they will. we got to follow that heading and fly that. We don't do anything. They'll give us the rest of the uh, descent. So once we get to Deets, we'll be going on a heading of 356. We'll be down, we'll be left downwind for runway uh, 28. American 1281. American 1281, can you verify your altitude, please? Uh, American 1281, we were descending on the uh, very one. We're currently at 9,400. American 1281, do you have the very one chart pulled up, sir? Uh oh. Mm -mm. Yes, I do have the very one chart pulled up. Roger, for future reference, uh, the arrival stops at 11,000. Yeah, and that's why we have 11,000. That's, that's it. Just to maintain 4,000, and uh, just next time, make sure you maintain 11,000 so you're assigned uh, an altitude by air traffic control. Okay, American 1281. Yeah, that's my fault. I got a little, uh, little edgy on the uh, descent there. Sorry about that. Uh, we'll do better next time. That's what I'm talking about. Very humble. Very humble. He said Chelsea. Bad names, probs. No worries. Bad names, probs. How do you how do you pronounce your name? Uh, he said Chelsea. How do you pronounce? Is it is it? Oh, Chesley. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, he's on Twitch. Uh, Stellar Sim Crash. Oh no no no. That's that's horrible. Sorry about that. Uh, yeah, Leo said he wasn't getting the AS either. Sorry. Chesley, not Chelsea. Chesley, that's my fault. And you know what? The actual spelling of my real name, I get the same thing, so I should have known better. I totally apologize, Chelsley. My bad. <laughs> my bad name. <laughs> I am so sorry. I am so sorry. Uh, Greg Hill says, oh, no. <laughs> Chesley. Chesley. Very unique name. Forgive me. I'll do like, I don't know, 20 push-ups for you after the stream. You may not see me do them, but trust, I'll do them somehow, some way. <laughs> uh, all right. I am so sorry. Chesley. They say reading is fundamental. I don't think I got that one. Uh, you know, the fundamental of us. You're good, my dude. All right, Chesley. My my man, I don't want to offend you because I know for 44 years, I'm 44 years old, I have been called Audrey because my name is Andre, but it's spelled differently. So I feel you. 270 for veterans to final approach course American correction. Oh, yeah. It's a geeky silly. <laughs> oh man, you guys are silly. The pilot that landed in the Hudson was also named Tesley. Oh yeah, Sullenberger. I watched that movie. I like that. Yeah, that's what's up. 
They called him Sully, though, right? Yeah, they, the movie was called Sully, but yeah, because they uh, they abbreviated his uh, last name. All right, guys, once the bird gets straightened up, we are going to definitely go into the uh, heading mode. We'll let her get balanced out. We're at 11,000 at 220, which is what we're supposed to be at. We're going to get a speed check flaps one here shortly. Let's let her straighten out. Yeah, boy, we in here. <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> 318, 6, Down to 6,000, American 318. Twelve eighty one, turn left heading two two zero. Airport eleven o'clock, one zero miles. Report the airport in sight. Left heading two two zero. We have the airport in sight. American twelve eighty one. American twelve eighty one. Quick visual for turn one seven center. Got a key of the tower one two seven five five. Cleared a visual for okay guys. So now American before we start dropping in flaps. We want to check the data plate here. Data plate here, okay. Flaps 1F extended at 225. We're below that. We'll, we'll drop our speed just a little bit. Let's take that over as well. We'll go ahead and drop her down to 210 so we can start throwing in some flaps. We have begun our final descent into Texas. We are at 10,000. You guys know what's up with that. Landing lights are all coming on. Are on final, we'll go ahead and get rid of the anti-ice. Please anti -ice. any carry-on items, either in the seat back pocket or under the seat in front of you. Please complete all Wi-Fi related tasks and stow any larger electronics. Okay, let's expedite that descent. Let's get a little brakes going on there. Help that slow down. All right, DFW to St. Louis, I believe. Yes, sir. Okay, we'll extinguish that. Speed check, flaps one. We're gonna bring flaps one in, guys. Okay, let's start looking at the approach now. Okay, Bossy. Let's look at the profile. Bossy's at 6,000, so that's what we'll be hitting Bossy at, guys. You can see we're left downwind. And should just be seeing the field over there. Okay, we already passed it. It's behind us, so we probably missed it already. Let's see if we got El Señor Leo Sticks out there somewhere. Taking a visual. No joy on the visual, but we know he is there. American 318, left heading 270, vectors to the final first course, so to maintain 4,000 left. Okay, two is that two seven zero on the heading down to four thousand for American three eighteen. Two seven zero four thousand. Two seven zero four thousand American three eighteen. Okay, this is why I need this view because it gets difficult. Two seven zero. Regional approach, medevac helicopter, November two seven zero. Four thousand. About three and a half miles west of Fort Worth Alliance. Southbound on the 287 route, looking to head to 35 route down to downtown to Harris Hospital. Okay, let's get some brakes out, guys. Okay, now we want to go to 180. The speed. And we're going to be dumping some more flaps in. The flaps that we need to dump in uh, for flaps two is at 215. We're trying to get that now. Let's get that a little bigger so we can really see what we're doing. 270. Okay. Final approach course is 176. 
Left 210, we will report to field inside American 318. And we can still arm the localizer. That won't hurt. And American 318 has the field in sight. American 318, clear your visual approach, uh, 17 Center, American 318. Come on, get off there, that's not what I wanted. Regional approach, 3500 off. I wasn't able to copy the last year transmission yet, background noise is making. Okay, let's get the speed brake all armed up. American 12, you want to Gear is down, three confirm. Final approach speed is 148. Activate approach fees, confirm. 148. Over the tower for American 318. Dallas Fort Worth Tower, American 318, uh, visual 17 center. American 318, winds are 15012, altimeter 2988, runway 17 center, clear to land. Altimeter 29088, 17 center, clear to land, American 318. American 12, are you on DFW Tower? Alright, boys, let's get it. We are on final approach, uh, landing gear is down, three green, uh, cabin, let's check it, flaps are to three, we're landing configuration three, let's confirm that the flaps are to three, which they are, it's asking for flaps full, but it always does, but I think it's a glitch, we are uh, in the configuration three right now, so our V approach is 148, V one second. is 143, do not cross that runway without contacting me, do not cross the Zarnay without contacting him. You guys like that accent? I came up with it on my own. <laughs> Alright, guys. Fort Worth uh, Tower, good afternoon. Uh, American 1281. There's our landing system hey, American there. American 1281, uh, welcome. Did you just get sent to me? And, uh, I did not. I got a ground uh, is uh, 2165. I don't believe that the uh, approach controller handed me off, but. It could have been pilot error, so uh, here I am. Okay, Roger. Uh, cross 17 right there, Kilo 8, contact ground 165. Okay, uh, cross 17 right at Kilo 8, and we'll contact ground on the other side, American. Uh, off. Our aircraft? <clears throat> 100 above. Check. Uh, American 1738, Arnav Lair and runway 18 left, clear for takeoff. Minimum. Landing. Five hundred. Four hundred. Check. 300. Check. Too low, flaps. 200. Too low, flaps. 100. 50. 40. 30. 
20. Retard. Retard. 10. 5. Alright. I was I need to get my controller in a better position. Alright, reverses are out. That was my I, was, I need to move this controller up. I didn't even have the controls up for you guys. My bad. Speed is bleeding. Acceptable landing, we'll take it. You know what? We didn't have our auto brakes on, that was our bad. That's what we forgot. Didn't stay ahead of the aircraft. Okay, reverse free. Manual braking. Manual braking. We made it. That was rough. It's been a minute since I've flown this Airbus. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Texas. Flaps coming up. The local time is 12.07 p.m. And it's currently about... 97 degrees Fahrenheit. You can now use your mobile devices. Please remain seated. Yeah, we forgot the auto brake. Approach on safe We're on uh, Mike 7. Mike 7. Items may have been shifted during the flight. Welcome to DFW. Uh, continue taxi on Mike 7. Right turn on Bravo. Cross 17 right at Bravo. Contact ground 121.65. Okay, continue taxi on Mike 7 to Bravo. Right turn on Bravo. We'll be contacting ground for American 318. Okay, guys. Landing lights off. Strobe off. Let's see here. Let's get our bearings really quick. Yeah, I was like, why aren't we stopping? Okay, uh... This'll be Bravo here to the right. We didn't even turn our anti-ice off, but that's okay. We weren't taking any chances. Sorry about the bad driving, guys. Bit frazzled here. And Dallas Fort Worth ground. American 318 is on Bravo, holding short runway 17 right. I wonder if he gave us cross runway 17 right. I can't remember. Let's see. 12165. Let's make sure we got the right frequency. 12165. Ah, we don't have the right frequency. Stand by. Not my best work, but we're in. Dallas Fort Worth ground, American 318 on Bravo, holding short runway 17 right. American 318, DFW ground, good evening, safe parking. Uh, any uh, gate at the Alpha terminal for American 318. American 318, cross runway 17 right at uh, pilot's discretion, taxi via Bravo, Kilo to the ramp, monitor this frequency, thanks. Okay, cross runway 17 right out of discretion, Bravo, Kilo to the ramp, monitor in this frequency, American 318, thanks a lot. Alright guys, so, like I said, that was, we got it down, that was, I haven't flown an Airbus for quite some time, so that was definitely nasty business there, getting it in, but we did, cross the runway, check right, check left, and uh, he said kilo, so we are crossing now. We do, let's get the taxi lights to taxi. Strobe is off. I'll check you guys out here in the chat in a minute. Yeah, I think I need to switch my, uh, move up my controller there. I didn't even have the controls on for you guys. It's trying to stay ahead of the aircraft, man. You guys know how it is. You fellow pilots, you. So yeah, I forgot the auto brake. Good thing we landed 
in a decent spot on the runway. We didn't float it. Flaps are up. Uh, we got our PFD and MFD back to where it should be. Landing lights are all off. And taxi lights are on. APU is available. And APU gen should automatically be on. Which it is, which is a good thing. We don't need to bleed air at this point, so we'll just keep rolling down kilo. Yes, Senor Chesley was very professional, because he is ground. I'm going to try to pull his stream up and see what he looks like. We're going to probably run a replay that won't reload. See what you guys are talking about up in this joint. All right, all you Twitch peeps, go follow Chesley. Yes, we will for sure. Awesome landing night, gangs. Appreciate it. Good job, my fellow A1 violator. Stellar says, "Sorry, your sim crash, man." Thank you, baby. Love you so much for saying uh, great landing. I really appreciate it, baby. Uh, yeah, and it was an acceptable landing. So guess what? It wasn't hard. It wasn't soft. It was just a landing. Little did the passengers know we didn't have to auto brake on. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That's all right. It's been a minute since I've flown this bad. But I feel like this, even this view is a little bit too high. What are my likings? Let's get this all straightened up. Camera is saved. likes to pull to the uh oh no wonder I had thrust it was offset okay this okay we're coming up to the alpha terminal now I see green light over there So we have green light and Greg Hill rolling on the next leg. Okay. Speller says he's loading in gate Alpha 28. Be at Alpha 20. Slow our roll. All right, we do have that working. Let's get our taxi light off. Just ease up to the joint. This is what we're looking at here. All right, everybody, we did make it. Parking brake is set. Engines can come off. Transponder can come off. Transponder off, beacon off. We'll leave the nav up. Let's get the APU bleeds on. And guys, welcome to the Dallas Fort Worth. We truly have made it. Now, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure all of the doors here are going to be closed. Uh, just simply because uh, what's going to happen is if they're all not closed on the replay, they'll be open, which we know we don't like that. So let's close all the doors and then we'll run some replays and reload back up at gate A20. So we're just making sure all the doors are closed because X-Plane has a really, really funky situation. Okay, so 
let us get into it and we'll be back of course but of course of course all right y'all let's go ahead and get some jams on and let's log off of the VATSIM network and also one thing that we don't need right now necessarily is uh, these guys all right here we go on the replay then we'll reload x-plane yeah we'll get a better one hopefully uh, yeah you know it was just one of those things kind of got behind the aircraft Nice, Stella says donated 30 to Shaq. Aspiring Ace, oh man, I gave Leo something I want to do the same for Dre. Uh, yeah, I got to get my uh, donation link all squared away, man. I appreciate it. He said, let's run the track. She was looking good, y'all. That was that girl on the way in, on the way in. She was looking good in the hood. Well, it says the flight sim and aviation community got to be one of the most wholesome communities out there, to be honest. I mean, I agree with you, man. I mean, there's a lot of good, you know, communities within any type of simulation and gaming. American Truck Simulator has got a great community. Definitely, the, the, I will agree with you, though, for sure. 100% on that one. Uh, community is awesome uh, when it comes to flight simulation. The most humble communities. Yes, sir. Absolutely. Yes, sir. Guys, we're on approach running the replay. We're going to run a couple of replays and we'll restart the sim, load up a gate 820, and then we'll be off to uh, St. Louis. See how we look on this uh, acceptable landing. <laughs> Pretty nice. Not bad at all, if I do say so myself. Not bad at all. We're going to get that one again. Still not bad landing. I mean, it was, uh... For sure, for sure. I was definitely behind the aircraft on this one. Check that out again. We'll do this scene one time, one time. Zoom her in. She was looking nice, though. That's for sure. Bye, y'all. Yeah, look at that. Pretty much center line still. Just a little bit to the right of center line, but I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, next one is going to be an odd number, so we'll probably do 350. Alright, let's 
run that back, let's run it back. That girl was coming in, boy. Uh. Leo, ow, that one was sexy, boy. Hey, appreciate you, Leo. Appreciate you. Don't cross center line without my permission. Ab Geek says that's what's up. We were able to still land it. I, I, I'm going to switch my positioning of my... Uh, bye, y'all. Look at that. Boom. All right, let's, let's get my baby's, uh, my baby's view there. Uh-oh, what happened there with the stream? Whew, thought something happened there with that stream now, boy. All right. Aviation Geek says, great landing. I appreciate you, big dog. We got her down, you know. We got her down. We did it. Huh. We got her down. <laughs> you guys gonna be, I don't know how to act with the whole rap game. Not bad, not bad. There you go, baby. Yep, my baby's favorite. I got you, baby. I got you, baby girl. <laughs> Thank you, baby. All right. Y'all know we're going to do... Uh, I didn't know if I wanted to come this far back. Oh, you're welcome, baby. All right, guys. So we're getting ready to do another leg. We just running some replays and then we're gonna get X plane all booted back up. You know what I mean? Give y'all this view right here. APU sniffers view. <laughs> that's right, APU. That's good, Aviation Geek. The APU sniffers view. You got that right. So y'all, we're gonna run flight level 350 on the next one, okay? Let's get the new flight going. not gonna have no icing issues this time man we're gonna watch out for that we'll take uh oh let's switch everything to kilograms Play guys, because once we're done, we're gonna boot back up. I'll stop X plane, restart it. That way, we ain't got no problems, man. And the next flight is only about an hour and some change, so that'll be good. Yeah, Dre, I'm sending the landing now from the Cayman Islands visit. There you go. <laughs> so we'll make this one our only uh, wing replay landing, and then we'll uh, get everything else going for you guys. So it's an hour and 20 minutes for the next leg. Uh, Memphis will be our alternate, and St. Louis is obviously our destination ok 
Okay, new flight plan is filed. Time is 1900 local. Okay, roger that, Leo. As soon as this replay is done, brother, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I don't have my DMs open right now, but I'll check them in a minute, Stella. I don't want to open up any more resources right now. I don't want to get my FPS killed, but I'll check it on my phone. And uh, time is 1900 local. Bet. That's what we're setting the time for. We'll be doing an evening flight on this one, guys. And there she was, guys. So, let's go ahead and put you guys on the wait screen so we can get everything else ready. Okay, guys?
Okay, guys. Excuse me. Pretty much everything is set up, so we just need to let X Plane 11 continue to load, and uh, airplane should be spawned here very shortly. And we'll be on our way to our next leg. Okay, Stellar is uh, American 2858. Of course, you guys know I'm going to be American 318. Okay guys, we are back with it. Back on cam, you can see we are doing somewhat of an evening flight here. And let's see if the old trusty dusty flight overlay is going to work. And it's, she's actually working nice, so we got our Dallas Fort Worth to St. Louis here. So let's go ahead and log back onto the VATSIM network. Bye y'all. We are on the VATSIM network. And pretty much all the controllers see DFW deliveries on. Ground is still on. Uh, who's all on? Approach is on. Towers on. Okay, we still got to grip everybody on. We got clearance on 28250. So let's get that joint going. Uh, welcome back uh, to American 318. Continued service to St. Louis up in the house, guys. Thanks for riding along with your boy, for real. And uh, supporting all of us, Leo and myself, and all the content creators as we continue to share our passion with you guys. So we definitely appreciate you. That's 100. External power is connected. Chocks are on. Uh, so we can now go up and do our thing. Battery one on. Battery two. And... Those systems on. That'll be on. Let's see, we'll keep that on the fault. Let's get nav and logo on. And let's arm this joint, get the seat belts there. And uh, let us get some power on this bad boy. Let me do this, cause this track. Oh, contact him, yes sir. Okay, she's running her self-test. Okay, self-test will be done in a minute. Let's get this up to bright. Of course, during the flight, we will most certainly be turning this stuff down. Else we got on the pedestal for lighting. Okay, we'll get these internal lightings look good. And let's get our radio stack on. Let's slide to the right. Get the radio stack on. Cover 363, Charlie Kilo, contact regional departure, 125. And the message that we got, Ming. Oh, we got a PDC. Pre departure clearance. Akuna MLC Kayla cleared his file. Climb via SID. Departure frequency is 125025 Scott 2164. Okay, 2164. We can plan for 17 right. Cool, cool. Clear this file. Departure. Advise appropriate ground control. Ready to taxi with ADIS. Spot number. Location. It serves offer clearance. Requires no read back. Okay, cool. So we can just uh, be on ground, which is 12165, and then the uh, 
Dallas Fort Worth Tower 2655 and ground is 12165 I don't even know how this got switched over but One six five. Our is uh, one two six five five, which I believe that's what we got. Yep, one two six five five, no doubt. Okay, let's come down here and get the IRS aligned. We're gonna go to the initialization page. Hilo Delta Foxtrot Whiskey and Kilo Sierra Tango Lima for St. Louis. I'll check you guys out in the chat here in a minute. Oh, you know what? We forgot to bada bing, bada boom, and bada bam on that one, y'all. So now we can align the IRS. Alpha Alpha Lima 318. Okay, cost index is 75. Cruising uh, altitude is uh, 350. That's a bet. Now let's load the plane. Why don't we load the plane? Uh, let's do our numbers from here. We just look at that view, guys. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. While we load the plane up. FDFW ground information, Quebec is current wind 150 at 12, altimeter 2988. Okay, Quebec is current 2988. Quebec. That's what's up. Yeah, we did file uh, 350. That's good to know. All right, let's get our weights and everything all situated. And we're expecting uh, 27 right. I mean, 17 right. Ground services. Loading. Boom. We're doing our 150 packs again. Okay, perfect. Everything is good there. And 28. See what we got in kilograms on here. I'm looking at a flight plan just for your edification. Okay, cargo 6.2, so three and three is five. So let's reduce that cargo a little bit. Keep it about right there. Two and two is four, five. Okay, that's close enough. And then we got our distribution of packs. Fuel that we need on board. It's asking for 9.9 .9 fuel kilograms 9.9 uh that's what 1000 kilograms extra fuel so we'll do uh let's see uh 9.8 yeah it'd be 9.9 DFW tower american alliance 225 for bus taxi all right 9.9 .9. boom boom 150 load these settings DFW ground good evening can you make the turn it up there at Hotel Yankee? Bye, y'all. Okay, let's get into it. Hotel Yankee? Yes, sir. I was just asking. Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't want to bring you all the way around that uh, extension terminal there. If you can make the turn out to Zulu at uh, Hotel Yankee. At the Hotel Yankee. Okay, turn out. American 225, taxi via Zulu Golf, Whiskey Golf, 1-8 left. Via Zulu Golf, Whiskey Golf, off the 1-8 left. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and load this joint up. Load it on up so we can get on 17 right and go wheels up. <laughs> All right, don't let me forget, guys, to put on my flight controls the next time. Let me make sure my flight plan goes with what he gave me. Akuna, MLC, SGF, Kayla. Hello, thank you for going back. Yep, that's it. Right. Taxi via Kilo, Echo Golf. Once in a 
MLC. Let's insert that bad boy. All right, MLC. Then we go right into the arrival. Let's look at the weather situation there in St. Louis. All right, St. Louis 180 at four knots is the landing there in St. Louis 180 four knots. Let's get ours up first where we're at, and then we'll get into St. Louis so we can plan the runway. Okay, airport. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this one. Let that load in. Okay, you can see where we're at. There's 17 right, so that's what I was saying. When we landed, it's going to be a really short taxi. Then we can come over here. The only other thing that we need, guys, is our departure. And we are departing the Akuna 9. Let's go back to the search. And let's get St. Louis up in there. Let's get the airport info. We'll be going on the Kayla 3 into St. Louis, guys. Okay, and the winds are out of the south. Uh, so I'm looking at uh, the terminals on this side. Uh, we'll look at 12 left. We'll definitely need our auto brake on that one for sure. 12 left and then uh, we are going to also look at our approach our arrival anyway there's the Kayla 3 Okay, now we're coming from north or south to north, and this is the southern runway. So we'll be coming up this way initially to turn back south. Uh, what they got? Initial fix. Ruyan is what it's going to be. So let's check this out now, y'all. with SGF Ruyan and we said SGF look at the flight plan hello ladies and gentlemen I would love to welcome you aboard our flight when you find your seat please be sure to place your larger carry-on items in the overhead bin and smaller Three, items under the seat unless you're in a front row after you put your carry-on uh, items in the overhead uh, bin and it is full, make sure you close it as a courtesy okay, to perfect. other passengers. That'll give us also, our ability to vector ourselves over there, which is good. Let's finish the in page here. We also have to come here and let's get our tollless plug-in back in. Right, where we can make sure the aircraft is all g sure up. Okay, now that we select that, flaps 2, here's our speeds here, we're doing 42, 42, 45, up 0, 0, uh, flaps 2. So let's get our zero fuel rate in here first, uh, 676. Zero fuel weight center gravity is 27.1. Okay, confirming that 67.6 tons and 27.1%. Uh, Block fuel is 9.9. .9. Now let's also get into our performance here. Okay, we're doing flaps. Up. 0 
zero. Flex temperature is 36 again. And uh, V rotation speed 42, 42, 45. I think that's what it was, which makes sense. We're pretty much the same weight dynamics as we were coming out of Fort Myers. Bye, y'all. Let's go ahead and go to the flight plan over here. Boom. And now we do have Dallas Fort Worth here, so we need to come over here, guys. And we have to adhere to the, the SID, the standard instrument departure, top altitude. Looks like it's 10,000 for these runways. If we're taking this runway, that's where we'll be. But we're taking 17 right. So top altitude is 10,000. Flight directors are on. Altimeter was 2988. All right, y'all. We pretty much ready. Let's check out Leo stream. What if he's taking a little break? Oh, it's iHeart. I'm joining this leg too. Okay, cool, iHeart. Let's see. Let's monitor the Boom Boom channel. Oh, it looks like he's taking the tollers as well. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard flight 318 with service to Missouri. Our flight time will be roughly 1 hour and 19 minutes. Now that the cabin door is closed, please make sure that all devices are in airplane any mode and your light any devices are not shut down. down the boom, boom, boom. Please fasten your seatbelt and make sure that all tray tables and seat backs are in a full upright If you guys are watching my stream, go departure. to the boom, boom, boom. Cabin crew secure doors for departure. Let's see what Leo's saying. Those, those you guys over here. Okay, roger that. Let Leo know I'm ready to go. Uh, I'll just be waiting on him to come back. Over. Sounds good, over. Roger that, over. A1 violator. <laughs> A1 violator, number one, over. <laughs> Man, we're gonna have some fun on this one. Come on, lie. This sounds like a fun one for me, too. Let me see if uh, Neil is on the, on the frequency real quick. I think he's still sending up the plane. Okay, Rob, to that. I'm fully ready to go. I am too. I'm putting in my B speeds and I'll be ready to go in a minute. Yo, yo, yo. What up, bro? What up? What up? Just letting you know I'm ready to go. Broski over here. So when you push back, I'll wait. Uh, and uh, beautiful time of day, man. So looking forward to this leg. Roger that. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, just go heads down right quick. I'm a little bit behind here. Um, let me pick up my clearance and uh, I'll let you know when we're ready to push. Yeah, no doubt, big dog. Take your time, man. Just letting you know I'm ready, man. All right. Okay, that's the firm. Right, Roger that. I'm ready too. Green! Oh. Green's all logged on. All logged on to that shit, goddamn. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all. So we are ready. Come we did a quick flip. Green in the corner. Already more 87. Any more flights up to St. Louis? More than likely, we're going to O'Hare. More than likely. Yeah, Roger. I got 12 left. Uh, winds are out of the south uh, into uh, St. Louis, so I'm taking 12 left. I'll be taking 12 left as well. Yo, Leo, what's your call sign? More 87 says, okay, roger that. You gonna join us? Please do, please, please feel free, join us. Join us, join us. Let's 
So guys, November 525 Juliet Bravo for the uh, Customs Tram ready to taxi. November 525 Juliet Bravo DFW ground. Hello. Runway 18 left. Taxi via. Well, code. Golf. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, so from St. Louis, Hotel we're either Whiskey going Boxer. to uh, Chicago O'Hare or Minneapolis. I don't know which one. We'll ask the boys. Hotel It'll be a very short flight, though, that's for sure. All right, y'all, while they're getting ready, I'm going to step away really quick, uh, give my wife a kiss. Roger, I think we're going to Chicago. Okay, roger that. So, yeah, uh, our, our more 87, I think we're going to Chi-Town. It'll be St. Louis to Chi-Town. Uh, so, and get prepared for a long taxi. Oh, I, know we're going to, I know we're going to uh, St. Louis first, right? Yeah, roger. Uh, somebody on the channel, our more 87, was asking where we're going after the next leg. So, after... This leg to St. Louis, we're gonna take St. Louis to O'Hare. Okay, cool, because I just made another flight plan for that. Alright, cool. <laughs> no doubt, no doubt, Green. Yo, no doubt, yeah, Green. I'm, I'm just get set up on the uh, team. Flying this right bird now. is like a dream. That sim, number one. Uh, all the boys, we about to this have some fun. We got a lot of people, we got a whole <laughs> conga line. Skyhawk 5 Julian Bravo, you have the weather? Yes, sir. Yeah, five Juliet Bravo affirmative. We have Juliet. Okay, Adis uh, Quebec is valid, I believe. Okay, y'all. Yeah. I'm gonna step away just for a brief second. I'll be right back with you. Or something. Hmm, roger that. I'll be right back, boys. I'm gonna step away for two minutes while everybody's getting ready, uh, and I'll check back in with y'all.
live on twitch <laughs> thanks for flying out <laughs> no doubt <laughs> oh that's funny <laughs> all right i'm gonna have to go watch that uh ttv hey, 15 me. DFW, hello from we went left taxi via golf hotel whiskey box truck hey, i can go back and check the twitch channel out oh excuse me thin air 20 heavy Back on Freak Boys. Me too. I was wondering why you were at the Whiskey Fox Shot all, but you're full length. Why is Green saying he's getting a northern runway? I'm getting 180 for Alright, we'll go for it. Because you know Green don't use no active sky. He's getting old ass weapons. Hey, you're the one that's got to fly it, not me. <laughs> that's what's up. I'm still taking my 12 left because I'm getting southern uh, winds out of there. Where you getting that weather from, Green? You know, I'm just getting it from uh, just a regular, uh, you know, just getting it from the regular x flight weather. Well, well, it will make sense that you would do that in yours, Green, because that's what your weather's going to be doing. So, yeah, you want to do that. But the real weather is 1804 knots, uh, altimeter 299 or 1 uh, in uh, St. Louis. Would you do me a favor? When you, when you get closer, just give me an update when you get closer. Okay, rods of that, rods of that. Yeah, I'm getting 1804 knots too. Uh, that's what I'm reading on the, uh... That's because you're getting the same program. What you talking about? Can we switch to Marcus Brown? Uh, Leo, let us know when your IRS is done. And when, well, when, we, when we hear you push it back, then uh, I'll go ahead and push back as well. Okay, I'm almost done here, boys. That's a firm. All right, everybody. Thanks for checking the stream out. Gray Aviation says he is back. Welcome back, Gray Aviation. Thanks for your continued support. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you for all your support. I don't take it for granted. And uh, we are getting ready to be on our way to uh, St. Louis. So we pretty much have everything set up. Let's switch sides here. See what we got. Look at that sky, man. It's going to be a beautiful departure. Let's go up to our actual runway. I mean runway, our cockpit here. And uh, make sure we looking good. Look at that. Yeah, the, the lights are all on. Let's look up top. Those lights are on as well. Uh, and uh, we'll get those pumps on here in a second. Let's see, we can just put these on fault. What are the Americans? 
2858 again. That's me, Stellar. Okay, yeah, I'll push back in a manner to where you can push back at the same time. Um, just make sure it's, it's canted off to the left, and we should be, uh, we should be clear. Firstly, I was just gonna, like, push up straight at home. So I don't really have to turn, but, um, I'll give you some room by turning left. Or right, whatever one. Okay, sounds good. I got one minute left on the alignment. Start the APU. Alright. See if we can't come over here. Unable to find, and unable to find view uh, ID 14. Leo, how about you push out before me, and then I'll see like where you are, and then I'll determine where I push out. Anybody in the boom boom room? What time we? What time is the set set for? 1900. Nice time, baby. Local time. 23, 7, I like 5. it. I like it a lot. 0.15. I'll channel her 2-9 or 8-9 Simultaneous visual approach to runway. 1-3 right. 1-8 right. 1-7 center. 1-7 left. Simultaneous power traffic departing runways. 1-7 right. 1-8 left. Notices to air mission. So it should be Romeo now. Operate transponders with altitude reporting mode enabled on all airport surfaces. Command error and volume. Advise on initial contact. You'll have information, Quebec. Okay, still Quebec. Most Fort Worth International Airport. Alright boys, this is Dre. I'm going to be still monitoring Boom Boom Room, but I'm going to be switching over to ground in preparation for taxi boys. Same here. Over. All right, guys, you know what time it is. Let's get the music off. Let me look at my flight control here and see if I need to adjust the camera at all. All right. Let's look at the flight controls. Forward ground, American Okay, not bad. It's still, it's still reporting just fine here. So, yeah, American we need to have it about right here. DFW ground, hello. Push start your discretion, copy taxi. That's my own discretion, call for taxi, American. 2858. Okay, so all doors are closed and confirmed here, and APU is available, so let's go and get that uh, right, APU bleed on. Push, I'm going to wait for Leo anyway. All right, we've got that situated. Let's come up here and get off the ground power, ground services, we'll get the chocks off as well as that, and let's get this push going, y'all. Okay, a push cart is on it. Parking brake is off. Here we go. Transponder's on. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention to the front of the aircraft. 2989 Air Quebec is still current. Ray I see you, on, I see you on Similar Dre. Nice. Look at us casting off the ground. That's beautiful, guys. All right, see you next time. All right, parking brake is set. All right, guys. Confirming parking brake is set. We will be starting right engine. There are several emergency exits on this aircraft. You can see the N2 is coming up here. To with the emergency exits on this aircraft, please refer to the safety card in the seat back pocket in front of you. In some cases, your nearest exit might be behind you. If we need to evacuate the aircraft, there is lighting on the floor to guide you towards the exit. In the event Hi, of princess. a loss of cabin pressure, an oxygen mask will drop in front of you. Start the flow of oxygen. Pull the mask. Twenty to heavy monitor tower. One two six point five five. Good day. And Once the engines come up, that'll be good to go. But secure your mask and then assist others. <laughs> Keep your mask on until a member of the crew advises you it's safe to remove it. In the event that the pilot decides to take us for a swim, we'll know the engine is good to go when this fault disappears because the generator will automatically connect. Boom, back. there we go. When instructed to do Let's so, go ahead and get uh, engine the number one on. Flip it over your head. Wrap the straps around now your waist we can do and buckle the max up the brakes. front. Pull the strap to tighten. Let's also to get a flaps vest, down. Pull firmly on the red cord only when exiting the aircraft. If your life vest does not inflate automatically, blow into the mouthpieces for manual inflation. Each vest is equipped with a whistle and light. If necessary, your seat cushion can be used as a secondary flotation device. See that engine coming Please on up? Please securely stow all personal items. 
Make sure your seat belts are fastened and seat backs and tray tables are all in their full upright position. We remind you that this is a non-smoking flight, and that includes vaping, tampering with, disabling, or destroying the smoke detectors located in the lab. Uh, work ground, number 783, so Sierra Delta, sorry about that. Confirm, push the seat back and start, etc. on the front of you. We suggest reading this and letting us have a message. November 783, Sierra Delta, DFW grid on, good evening. Yes, push and start at your discretion, call for taxi. Okay, those engines are connected, APU bleed. Maybe you can come off. Please okay, note the cabin lights will be dim for the parts of landing. If you require additional lighting, there's a Laps reading light on the Laps are set to button. two. Checked. Confirmed. Let's do our takeoff configuration. And the only other thing we need to do is arm the spoiler. Spoilers are armed. Takeoff configuration is normal. Let's go ahead and... Uh, All right, guys, takeoff configuration looks good. And we could go ahead and get our ignitions now into the normal position as the engines are both started and we are ready to go. Let's do our flight controls check since we're just waiting to hear Leo call out that he's taxiing since technically we're joining him on his stream. All right, guys, uh, Elia on left, Elia on right, neutral, elevator up, elevator down neutral and uh yeah let's see it's got two down zero zero but i don't think it makes a difference but it's supposed to be up let's see here okay let's go back to loading performance okay see up zero zero but it doesn't make a difference up down doesn't matter it's all at the zero level so up zero zero down zero zero doesn't matter. Trims are set at the zero level, so that's good. We got a pretty good center of gravity. Okay, there goes American thirteen ninety nine pushing back. There goes green light there. Good thing I always put a little extra fuel in this bad boy. I think we put an extra thousand uh, kilograms of fuel. Yeah, everything up top's looking good. No complaints there, man. Let's see. What's the floor lighting? Turn that off. BFD Indy. DFW Ground, good evening. Runway 17 right, taxi via Kilo Echo Golf. Alright, Kilo Echo Golf, uh, 17 right, American 3303. American 3303, I'm sorry, I think I had a stroke. You have Quebec? Confirm, we do have Quebec for American 3303. So we'll be doing Kilo Echo Golf as well, more than likely. All right, so we are just waiting on the fearless leader, Leo, to, uh, looks like he's pushed back. Aviation Geek, I might fall asleep, but I'm here in spirit and not spirit airline. <laughs> That's what's up. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Look at you, Ab Geek, making me, uh, laugh and the cough. Cough and the laugh. Now, one thing we forgot to do on the last landing is hit that brake fan, but we weren't running another one in the same aircraft, so to speak. Wink, wink. So we didn't have that in there. Yes. Ground, uh, you, you we this, uh, flight. Our uh, last aircraft on DFW again. Affirmative. We are live right now. The whole world's watching. 
I really want to learn the Zebo Graviation. Says, oh, that's a nice airplane. Uh, it's not bad at all. You'll like it. Okay, looks like somebody's turning up. Cool, check you out right now. Okay, that's Leo. Thank you. Fourth round. Uh, good evening again, American 1010. We're ready that's to taxi. Uh, stand 25. Alpha 25. Correction. We'll do a flex takeoff again. American 1010 DF to be ground. Hello. Runway 17 right taxi via Kilo Yankee Lima Echo Hotel. Give way to the uh, Airbus on Kilo. Taxi via Kilo Yankee Lima Echo Hotel. Give way to the Airbus on Kilo. American 1010. And good evening, Dallas Fort Worth ground. American 318 pushback from Stan Alpha 20 is ready to taxi with information, Quebec. American 318 DFW ground, good evening. 17 right taxi via Kilo Yankee Lima Echo Hotel, give way to the Airbus on Kilo. Okay, 17 right Kilo Yankee Lima Echo Hotel, give way to the Airbus uh, for American 318. Thanks a lot. Good evening, ground. This is Sunway 1877 and Alpha 15 with Quebec ready for taxi, sir. Alright, guys. Runway turnouts. Taxi light, let's roll. All right, I had uh, I had two aircraft going at the same time. Spear Wings 1877, go ahead. Oh, that's uh, Sun Wings 1877. Uh, pushing back to Alpha 15 with uh, Quebec, ready for taxi. All right, she's looking official. Sunwings 1877, DFW ground, good evening. Uh, can you make a turn out there on Julia Yankee? Yankee. Yankee, okay, cool. Sunwings 1877, runway 17 right, taxi via Julia Yankee, Yankee Lima, Echo Hotel. Julia Yankee, 17 right, Yankee Lima, Echo Hotel, Sunwings 1877. DFW ground, American 7 ready to taxi. At the Charlie Gate with Quebec. That's great kill, folks. American 711 DFW ground. Good evening. Let me find you here, sir. Give me just a sec. Uh, runway 17 right, taxi via Kilo Yankee Lima Echo Hotel. Taxi via Kilo Yankee, and then you got cut off. Uh, Kilo Yankee Lima Echo Hotel. Kilo Yankee Lima Echo Hotel. American 711. American 323 Monitor Tower 126.55. Good day. All right, over to Tower for American 3303. Have a good night. Uh, good evening, American 1399. Hold your shorts, part 7. American 1399, uh, I got you there. Stand by just one sec. Camera is safe. American 1399, DFW ground, are you on uh, explainer flight, sir? Uh, American 1399, runway 18. Uh, 18 left. Yeah, Taxi yeah. via Zulu Golf Whiskey Golf. Give way to the 737 on Juliet Yankee. Uh, taxi to one eight left. Yes, Zulu Golf Whiskey Golf. I'm giving way to the 737. Uh, American 1399. Ground American 2850. Ready to taxi. In 2850, DFW ground. Stand by. American 318. Contact Tower. Good day. Contact Tower. American 318. Good day to you, sir. Thanks for the ATC. American 1010, contact Tower. Dallas-Fort Worth Tower, American 318 with you on Lima. American 
Indian 2 3 tower, runway 17 right, line up and wait. Runway 17 right, line up and wait for American Great Indian. That's the marker, we'll have to get rid of that. Okay, he did give us Echo Hotel. I was hoping Leo was in front of us already. American 318, RNF Sparrow, runway 17 right, clear for takeoff. Okay, roger that. Uh, 17 right, uh, after Spirit, uh, clear for takeoff, American 318. Uh, November 7th here, Echo, where are you planning on parking today? Strove on. General Aviation, 3 zones here, Echo. We'll get rid of that beacon noise here in a second. Uh, then the Echo Romeo Papa into the uh, Hangar 5 G8. Say again, 3 zones here, Echo. Quebec, Echo Romeo Papa. Quebec, Echo Romeo Papa, 3 zones here, Echo. American 3303, contact regional departure. Over departure, thanks, I'm All right, here we go, boys. Flex man, SRS. American 1010, 17 right, line up and wait. Line up and wait, American 1010, 17 right. Tower, American 7 on the short, 17 right. Flying it, we don't need to be worried about switching anything because we will be on our own. Climb power. Turn, turn on spare, runway one seven nine cliff takeoff. Just flying these directors here. On that uh, spare one seven right cliff takeoff, American ten ten. American seven eleven runway one seven right line up away. Out of First stage of flaps extinguished. It's going to hand flyer here for a second, especially so we don't have any ATC. Let's just have a little fun. Good evening, DFW Nordis. Sun Wings 1877, hold short of one century. Right. Sun Wings 1877, rather, still holding short. Still holding short. Sun Wings 1877. Okay, gear is up and stowed. Landing lights are still on. We're hand flying. Flex 45, welcome to DFW. Continue taxi. Mike 3, hold short 17 right at Kilo 8. Alright, Mike 3, hold short 17 right at Kilo 8. We're going to corporate aviation FBO for Flex 45. Roger. Still hand flying are here, guys. Not much to look at. Flex 45, cross 17 right at Kilo 8, contact ground at 0.65 on the other side. Alright, over. Alright, uh, autopilot is engaged. Cross 17 right over to ground 21. That was pretty fun. Had another turn here, yeah. so we just want to make sure that. Flex 10, departure frequency is offline, flex 10, you're going approved, have a safe flight. Doing what we need to do. Unicom, thank you for your help, American 10 Last stage of flaps. Flex 711, continue holding for crossing traffic downfield. We'll hold with crossing traffic, American 10 Fifty-eight, fifty-eight, one, zero, one, 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 one,
Definitely be a night landing. I'm not landing. Um, runway 18 plus uh, Super Tech American 1399. Tower Scott, 37C. I can change your parking to Hangar 5. Thank you for the uh, taxi and landing. Thanks for flying. 711, Arnold Square, runway 17, right, clear for takeoff. Arnold Square, it's American 71, clear for takeoff. And uh, SWG 1877, yep. Alright, we are off there. Dallas Fort Worth International. Okay, there's the boom, boom, boom. We are still monitoring that. And actually what we'll do is, uh, let's just, uh, get our microphone there. See, I'm looking for the cabin lights to turn them off in the back. Interior lights, overhead, right, compass, go, off. Back. All right, we'll continue to make our left turn here. You see those landing lights are still reflecting off of there. All right, guys, we are rolling. Uh, Dre, maybe an upcoming stream you can fly in the Zebo and hopefully show us how to fly it. Absolutely. I definitely will do that. Uh, Aviation Geek says it's sun wings, green light. I think so, yeah, that's green light, Aviation Geek. Uh, Aviation Geeks is going to get some plane spotting in when I wake up. Should be a good day Friday. That's what's up. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now passed 10,000 feet. You may now turn on your larger, portable electronic devices. This is also a reminder to please use your seatbelt fast See, while you're like behind not congregated in the valley or near the lavatory. This aircraft is strictly on board Wi-Fi. You will be okay, required to be behind the wing. If you wish to access it. We do offer complimentary in flight speed. All right, we have reached 10,000 guys. You know what that means. You'll be able to access our wide range of free live TV and free movie library. Strobes on. Beacons are on. Let's just make sure. Yeah, beacons are on. I guess it wasn't on. Oops. But if that's the only thing we missed, that's not too bad. Can't be missing that auto break this time. Okay, we are up and at them. Let's extinguish the spoilers. And let's go ahead and get this on the status page. And guys, we are up and at them. The aircraft is climbing. Auto throttles, autopilot one. And uh, yeah. Hey, Leo, I thought you were actually ahead of me when I took off. I didn't mean to take off in front of you, so uh, maybe once we get closer, I'll slow down. And, of course, we forgot to start the clock again, guys. Shame on us. That's, that's two in a row, no clock. Not that we can see it at all. Okay, so we are up and at them. Flying time on this one is pretty short. It's only about an hour and uh, 10 minutes or something like that. Leo must have backed his time up. We never, we started in 1900, but we never uh, backed anything off, so. Bada bing, bada boom. Thousand feet, Roger that. Boom, boom, room check in. Boom, boom, room check in. How do you copy? I hear you 
All we can hope for, man. That is it. Aviation says he's about to hop in the center. Flying KUG KSFO in the Mustang. Got your 5x5 five five there, young G. About one hour and 30 minutes of flying time. Hopefully, you'll stream the whole time going to head to Chicago. Yes, sir. I have to look. I don't know what his call sign is. I have to look on uh, Fantastic to see if I can see which one he is. Boom, 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 baby. Rock, did you take off? Flies with a 242 number, uh, so whoever's flying with 242 gets rock probably. Chicago, after this one, guys, it's not a long flight at all. Hey, 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 American 10 10 checking in on the boom boom frequency. Woohoo! Welcome on, big dog. Hey, I thought you was ahead of me. I didn't mean to take off for you. I'll do 10 push ups for you, big dog. <laughs> Man, I'm going to need 21 push ups today. 321, you cut me all big time. <laughs> 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 just go back and watch it on stream. I just don't think you saw me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, my bad. My bad about that, bro. Yeah, I got you 21 push-ups after you give me my, uh, let's see, what I fly? 76 push no, actually 747 push-ups yesterday when we left out of Boston and you, uh, went ahead of me. <laughs> oh, you need to put that, uh, A1 on, uh, on ground because, uh, that, I left ahead of you through no fault of my own. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I'm messing with you. I'm just trying to get any ground on anything, man. You always got to be one up with me. <laughs> 21 push-ups coming your way, man. <laughs> Roger that. Hey, but gorgeous, gorgeous departure tonight, though, boy. Yeah, Roger that. I didn't, I didn't restart my my time. You know, from the time I loaded in, so mine was a completely dark uh, takeoff because I didn't roll it back to 1900 when I started taxi. But I saw yours, and it was gorgeous, Big G. All 
right, y'all. We got a good one. St. Louis here we come. We were checking out to get the last one to the park, but um, airport now. All right, I hire pulling up the rear. Hey, that's it. You're a good anchor, bro. So uh, handle your scandal. And thanks for flying, I heart. No problem. <laughs> all right, boys. All right, boys. Be on your best behavior. We got power on uh, the boom boom frequency. We ain't trying to get no A ones. <laughs> right? No A ones tonight, violators. Private frequency. I was getting somebody A number to call yesterday, man. You know what I mean? I'll tell a few callers, but I ain't calling nothing. You know what I mean? You know my B1 taxi skills? Say that again? You know my B1 taxi skills? No, right? Yep, your B1 taxi skills. Hey, I thought it's, uh, it's rock flying? Okay, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hey, uh, Leo, if I land first, anyway, I'll just get you on my stream coming in. How about that? Roger. Either that or I can uh, get there and do a couple of circuits around the airport safely, of course, and uh, still get you landing first if you want to do that, too. Yeah, I mean, I got a few guys behind me, so it, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter at this point. Plus, I'm doing them push-ups for you, so. <laughs> well, quite honestly, I, I, I think that you should just go ahead and uh, once we get up to cruise, rotate that camera down to the floor and knock them joints out live. Man, you coming up with all the good ideas, uh, but uh, my, my, the way my checking account is set up, I'm not able to do that. <laughs> nah, I'll just you, bro. <laughs> I know. I'll turn on the radio right now. That's why he ain't doing the push ups. <laughs> Better watch out, Green, before I give you an A1 and an A2. <laughs> if you go on give me one, shit, I'll be doing throw it in the trash. <laughs> I know that's right. <laughs> All right, y'all. These guys are crazy, man. Okay, guys, so this flight, uh, hour and 20 minutes flying time. We got the clock on a little bit late. Uh, we're going up to flight level 350, and we'll go from there. And just FYI, boys, American 318 will be cruising at flight level 350. Roger okay, so 12 right, here's 12 left, here's the terminal, and here's terminal 2. Let me see which one these bad boys land at. with the lightweights. <laughs> what you in, 182? A 206. <laughs> yeah, and that Piper 28. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, 
Hey, Green, long as you ain't back in that doggone Max, boy. <laughs> That's what's up. Not the boom boom jet with all them couches and beds. Okay, so we'll come right here to this appendage apparently. So yeah, this is the appendage we're going to. This is like the echo gates here. So we'll come right here somewhere and fight the plane, man. Time we will keep it on our. Let's see, we are transitioning, guys. Uh, SGF Spring. Nice, we got a conga line of six. When we get to uh, St. Louis, uh, we may have another two pilots. That'd be uh, Rock, and I think somebody else in my stream said they may load up in St. Louis as well. Okay, yeah, that's what's up. It's going to be a fun 2 8 arrival in San Francisco in the dark. It says, uh, that's what's up. Look at. Okay, we're almost at our 350 uh, altitude. Let's check the weather scope. Matter of fact, let's just get the weather all situated here. Okay, we're going to turn it on to auto. Aviation says uh, it's going. He's taking the Mustang to max out 41,000 feet. I don't know. Did you show that? Did you see that video? That was 72. Yeah, that was horrible. That was stupid. Yeah, I showed it on stream when the first leg, right? going on baby <laughs> looked like they all survived though nobody had a mad bloody head though had a bad bloody head but that was just straight up stupidity on his part man right they are out there the dumb ones do walk among us <laughs>
he better log on and check everything out first before he logs off. <laughs> All right. See our route there? We got some cruising to do, guys. Let's check our top and drop just to make sure that it is in there correctly. Okay, top of drop, just axe, it's supposed to be 288. You ain't never lie, I'm about to get off camera and get me something neat. He making that food look good, boy. He eating that like a hostage and he's got free. Hey, I hate to play right before I went live. I'm trying to finish it off now. Yeah, you went down and got you so that delay can't chat without us. Jax Fab. Hey, look, y'all were running late, so. Below flight number 2310. You done inspired me to go get me something. <laughs> below, below flight number 310, 280. Okay, there we go. Next one, uh, it's going to be 280 at 14,000, basically. Kayla is above 11,000. Let's double check that and I'll be happy. 11,000 or above. Cool, cool. Speed restriction must be starting here at Big Mac at 10. Here to stand. Let's make sure ours has Elbert and Stan in there. Uh, D nice, Elbert and Stan. There's Denise, D nice, Elbert, Stan, and then Maggie. Definitely banging, boys. Yes, sir. Stan, 250 and 7000. Minimum 240 knots there. Yeah, we got it at 250. And then here's the field here. Bro, I thought my game crashed. It like froze for like 30 seconds. Yeah, when it does that, try not to just like touch anything. Try not to click anything. Sometimes it'll come back. Yeah, no, I, I just want to be used to it. I just don't do anything. I don't look back up. And from Stan, we can literally. I'll be honest, though, I won't be having the patience for it. So this get rid of running and do that little spinning thing. I'm like, nope, I'm about to just restart. Spin the wheel, Stan. Because in X-Wing, once you get that wheel, you're done. Right. That's green. He's not Southwest. He's, I think, Swahili Airlines or something like that. <laughs> this man looks like he, he in a ready pre contact position on me, bro. Looks like he wants fuel. <laughs> Ray Mason says, still climbing to 2,500 feet per minute, though. I feel the weight in the yoke. This thing is very heavy, he says. It's going to be a lot heavier trying to get it up to 41,000. Look at that guys, we got a nice arrival that we've given ourselves into there. Plenty of waypoints to establish ourselves on ILS for 12 left. So I like that guys, so we worked that issue. Cause I'm pretty yeah, sure we want to have a 
my plan is telling me to, to, to descend, I'm going to tell you what, I ain't doing it. All that sounds like it's funny time. And okay, what you speak? Okay, we're gonna go over a weapon system here, and let's just get our anti-ice on now. Good job, Red. Yo, what's your speed, sir? I'm on this up 0.80. I just stepped up to 0.81. Roger that. Like Tom Cruise said in Top Gun, hit the brakes and fly right by you. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm banking on you having all sorts of warnings here in a minute in the cockpit. I see you got jokes, Mr. Uh, on approach going below 11,000 on approach in the Dallas Fort Worth. You didn't think I heard that. <laughs> Bro, I was all kind of have stuff coming in there. Yeah, it was great vision. Hey, no worries though, Big Dog. I was a little bit behind my plane. I didn't even put my auto brake on. So I landed with reverse thrusters. Good thing I had a good, you know, touchdown. Uh, but yeah, I missed that too. So uh, I'm going to be in my P's and Q's on this one. Yeah, see what it was is I just lost lost awareness. I mean, that one waypoint said uh, at eleven thousand, but then I got two waypoints past that and forgot we had ATC. So I'm like, all right, well let me start descending down now on my downwind leg, so I'll be at a good altitude for the intercept. And yeah, he he, he ain't like that. <laughs> <laughs> hey Leo, you was doing that unrestricted boy. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> It's all good though, you know. I mean, you know, it happens to all of us, man. Like I said, I was behind my aircraft coming around, so for me to get that landing, I had to work for it kind of at the end because I knew something was off, man. So you know, it's all good, man. That's why we do this thing and we train. Uh, you still had a nice landing. But see, it kind of irritated me though because if I was a little bit lower, like I intended to be, like he turned me in, I think, a little soon for that visual approach. Mm -hmm. I mean, I was. Mm -hmm. 2,000, 3,000 foot high, right. even if I wanted to capture the localizer. I mean, the, the, the glass flow, whether it was a visual or ILS, I was too damn high. They just, they just told him that you want to extend your downward. You don't have to make that turn if you feel like you're too high. I will definitely do that the next time. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I do feel like on this approach, man, he turned this in really uh, quick onto the final. Um, but I just, I wasn't as high as you, but if I, if I was that much higher, yeah, it would have been a problem. He took him a lesson, that's what it was. I just want to let y'all know that we got Gangster Scooter Center. We got which center? Yeah, he'll call us when he's well, he really ready for order. Yep, and we got, looks like, approach. Uh, oh, we got tower on as well. You know, they, they you know them boys saw us coming. They log, they logged on real quick. Hey, we, hey boys, we got St. Louis Center too. Uh, and tower in approach. 
Roger that. I'm calling you. Okay, Kansas City hey, Center, 25725. Leo, 1050, how fast are you going? Who is that for, Leo? Where's the American 2050? Okay, 125, 725. St. Louis Adis is 25.025. Irish.
Kayla's way up there. So let's go STF. Okay, let's do, what is that, uh, G-N-N-O-N? See if we can get direct Kayla. Caleb, 
And I'll monitor you guys in the Google room, but I'll be uh, on the Kansas City Center. All right, so hopefully we don't have to make another change. That was horrible. I don't understand why it doesn't let you make those changes. Uh, Ray Hayvation says, finally halfway. Yes, sir. You know, Gary, you were number uh, two to take off. Is that correct? Nah, negative. I actually, I thought Leo was ahead of me. I took off first. I'm, I'm, I'm in front of everybody. Is that going, sir? Oops. Uh, green, sorry. <laughs> I accidentally responded on Kansas City Center. No, I, I took off first green. I thought Leo was ahead of me, but he wasn't, so I'm, I'm leading the pack. Hey, that's good, dog. Just trying to make sure they have time when they're going to call, because I was surprised that you were behind us. I was kind of like, why are you getting Kansas City's down? But you're first. Okay, let's go. Cool. Yeah, I'm officially already in the airspace, so uh, Leo should be next to be called up. Okay, St. Louis Towers, 18-5. Five in the box. I mean, in the radio freak there. The winds caused many problems for me. Ben City. All right, y'all. We are rolling. Ben City Center. Good evening, American 1010. Checking in. Flight level 350. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I see him. I ain't worried about him. Appreciate you, Binga. Yeah, you know, there's clowns out there. You know, these clowns out here, they're real tough on the uh, on the internet. So, it's all good. I don't play this with folks like you. Appreciate you, Binga. <laughs> After 25 minutes of climb, finally made it to 40,000. Kansas City Center, Kansas City Center, Spock 2463. 2463 in the box, Sunway's 1877. Unable to find view ID 9. Alright y'all. 
Mall Gaming 101. What's up, my G? How you doing, man? Thanks for checking in, big dog. Appreciate you riding along with us. For sure, for sure. We're kicking it with the boys, you know what I'm saying? Good to see you. I haven't done this in a while. Yeah, that's all good, man. Life happens, Mall Gaming. But, uh, appreciate you joining, man. Roger. I'm trying to 160 and I'm trying to 
Mediterranean right now. There we go, guys. We've got another approach speed of 148, which is pretty similar to our last approach. Got the airport inside, left here. Let's get a visual approach for our under left. Let's get a visual approach for runway one under right, last gate. One under left, please. Sorry, right, one under left. Okay, bottom altitude. Uh, got this in place should be 5,000 in flood. Dragon 2858, reduce speed to Mach 0.76. Mach 0.76, American 2858. Okay, cool, 5,000. Alright guys, we are doing good. Four miles. You guys know the deal, I like to start my descent uh, about two miles out. And that's where we're at. Alright y'all, uh, time to bring it down, Kansas City, we ain't gonna do no go around, touchdown, runway 30 right, everybody know this boy love taking every flight, wifey's reporting in. Check it out, uh, Binga, hey, uh, Daisy's my wife, so she, she won't have to watch her language, man, that's my spouse, um, so I just hope you know that, and, uh, you know, let's just try to make sure you show respect, uh, to my spouse, he was just asking who it was, uh, I like, uh, I'm not gonna say that name, but welcome to the stream, I like men named Ashuf, and, uh, yeah, Binga, so, uh, just be careful, that's my spouse on there, so we don't want any disrespect. Gray Aviation says, Dre, what's your ETE? 104 Money, what's up? Says, yo, Dre, say. Dre needs to make a donation. Hey, Ma Gaming, I'm going to do that. Leo's going to help me with that. Uh, yeah, Ma Gaming, my wife timed him out because uh, he was trying to tell her language. And she's she's a grown adult woman and my wife. So, therefore, you know, um, you know, it could be misunderstandings, but just know that's my queen. And she can say whatever she wants on my stream. So, uh, yeah. Let's just keep it respectful, y'all. You know, wifey come first, y'all. So uh, it's all good, though. So uh, respect, respect, respect. Yeah, I know he was trying to help. He didn't know who she was. But that's my wife. So yeah, uh, it's all right. It's all right. You might need to say sorry to her, not me. But um, yeah, it's all good. It's all good. You know, my wife is very protective of me. So. Uh, she was trying to ask who the foreign person was because that person was rude. Uh, she she got rubbed the wrong way. So uh, 
I know you were, you didn't know who that was, Bingham. That's my wife, so that's how she was. Uh, she was sorry. Thank you, Bingham, for your apology, man. That's that's big of you. So just a misunderstanding. Uh, it's all good. She just gets heated when that foreign person uh, was making those comments. You know, let me ban that person. Uh, yeah, put him on timeout. Recommend 340 vectors for sequence. All right. Thank you guys, everybody, for the support. It's all love here. It's a misunderstanding. So, uh, thank you guys for showing mad respect. And, uh, yeah, that person, uh, foreign, is a clown. Yep. Yeah, my wife is gangster, boy. You better watch it. <laughs> Anybody making any wrong comments on here, she's gonna jump down your throat. She don't play them, she don't play that beeswax. But yeah, thank you guys for keeping it respectful. Thank God I know you were trying to help. Misunderstand it. Thank you for saying sorry, big G. So it's all good. Apron says, uh, Dre, just know through all the negative people, you got more people who support you. Hey, thanks, Gray Aviation. Appreciate that. <laughs> 104 Money said, Is he in Cali? I'll, I could go put hands on him real quick. <laughs> That's what's up, Money. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what up, money? <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Appreciate it. <laughs> Man. It's a trip. Thank you guys for the support. <laughs> yeah, you better watch out, foreigner. You know, because not only will they put hands on you, you know what I'm saying? You know, I don't even want to go there. I ain't trying to catch no charge on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you, money. <laughs> then you can post the beat on YouTube. <laughs> money, money, you silly dude. We might have to do some DCF stops tonight, y'all. I'm gonna be honest with y'all, man. This is gonna be my last leg, boys. Uh, uh, more Miss Sanchez is the real G. You got that right. <laughs> I'll go there. <laughs> Thank you, God. <laughs> love you, money dog. That's what's up, number love. Hey, you know what, money? After I get off, man, I might rock some DCS, man. This is going to be the last leg. You down? I know you down to blow something up, buddy. <laughs> More <laughs> said, Ms. Sanchez is a G. Yeah, my wife is a G. You better watch out. You better watch out, boy. <laughs> oh, man. You guys got me tickled. Love you, baby. Thank you for support, wife. Man. I'll tell you, boy. She don't care who you are. She'll bite your head off. That's <laughs> all with money. <laughs> Oh man, appreciate all y'all. Uh, I'll be honest, Foreign is one of my friends, but I don't know why he said that. Uh, well, he's not welcome here, uh, Mall Gaming. I don't know why he's clowning like that. That's inappropriate. I'm a grown man. I don't play them games, and neither does my spouse. So, like I said, guys, it's all here. It's all, it's all here is uh, nothing but love and positivity. But don't get, don't mistake the kindness for weakness, because we don't play that here. So, and you can tell my wife is just as spicy as I am, if not spicy, so you've been watching. Uh, Dre, will you stream some DCS? Yeah, man, I stream DCS, I love it. Uh, he went off his alternate account, which is foreign, yeah. Well, you know, it, his main account is called Caden. Either way, Caden, foreign, you know, it's disrespectful to do that. We don't, we don't disrespect anybody on here, and we expect everybody to act according. Or you can just leave the channel, you know what I'm saying? You can just leave the channel. Uh, that's what's up. But anyway, we're gonna keep it positive. I already have my uh, my pit bull on you, along with uh, 104 money. Both of them now on play. Yeah, biggest say yeah, he acting goofy. Yeah, he acting real goofy. Yeah. Yep. It's, well, you guys got a taste of what wifey will do. That's my ride or die. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. Tell uh, Ford, I'm a real gangster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you say y'all don't want y'all don't want messing with money, man, or none of us. Like I said, we all about positivity, but you know, don't take no kindness for weakness. I'd like to know if we can go ahead and get our our other runway ILS runway three zero right. Seventy eighteen seventy seventy plan runway one two right. We'll go ahead and plan for one two right. Seventy eighteen seventy seven. Kansas City Center, American Seven Minutes. 
Yeah, it's my thing he says, I'll tell him. Yep. Hey, act right, and, not, and it will be all good. You know, like I said, keep it respectful. You know, uh, you don't hear me saying anything negative about anybody. I expect to say, man, like I said, I'm a grown man. I'm 44 years old. We don't play them games on here, so uh, that's just how we are. We all are willing to help and be kind in this community, but at the same time, we're not taking any disrespect at all. Never. Never. Y'all better go back and have old boy Caden or Foreign listen to R E S B E C T. Don't get this beat down for me. <laughs> That's the remix, by the way. <laughs> yep, and it ain't gonna be me. I'm gonna send wifey in first. You know what I'm saying? Pop, pop, pop. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's what's up. Hey, I appreciate all the support, y'all. Y'all, my all real G's. Thank you, money. That means a lot, big dog. Appreciate you, homie. Yep. Hey, money, see? That's why we stay in the man caves. <laughs> Appreciate you, money. Appreciate you, big dog. Hey, money, that's why, see? That's why we stay home. In our man cave, you know what I'm saying? In the garage, you know, they, they, they got to keep the heat off the street. The heat is us. <laughs> <That's my wife. laughs> Appreciate you, buddy. Hey, y'all don't want to get money activated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 money ain't tripping. He got that money. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Hey, look, we're not forgetting the brakes this time. Ready? You got it here. All right, let's go ahead and arm the. Uh, this situation here. Okay, speed is 280. Yeah, so this is going to be it for your boy here. We was going to do another one. I'm getting tired here. I think Leo is too. Smooth Ops, hey, I say, just dropping in for the like. Hey, that's what's up, Smooth Op. Yep. Yeah, appreciate you, 104 Money. That's real talk. Hey, Money. You might find my wife in DCS with us. <laughs> you know what, Money? DCS after this, dude. I'm going to take a quick little break, and if you're down, man, we can, we can get on some DCS and check with the wifey. But I, I think, man, you deserve it. You deserve to blow something up after that. <laughs> oh, man. And truth be told, I think that that uh, that, that guy's a kid. I'm sure Ma Gamer will confirm that. He's got to be a kid. <laughs> Appreciate your money. Hey, the ditto, ditto money. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know what I do for a living, <laughs> and I know what you do for a living and what you did for a living. So that's what's up. Uh, appreciate you, money. All right, landing lights are all on, folks. All right, don't forget, guys, we're going to be exiting stage left. American 10, 10, stage speed. Coming in 3 0 right, uh, we'll be coming off to the left. Two, three, five, nine. Yeah, uh, that's what's up. A slow there, but we're picking speed yeah, appreciate y'all for real, for real. Okay, thank you. Uh, you're supposed to maintain 280. Uh, yeah, Dre, I already got a picture of me and the, and the people that will be in the car with me. You got that right. Gray Aviation says he just ordered a uh, uh, joystick for DCS. American yeah, y'all, y'all, yeah. Money the real deal, y'all. So, you know what I'm saying? My G ride. Hey, we riders, boy. You know how we get down. I got you too, money. You know how we get down. Uh, Graves, now I got to go download it tomorrow. That's what's up. Okay. We are going to get it in here. Brakes are to medium. And we have all of our uh, information set up for our approach, as it were. Next phase. There we go. 180V approach 148. We got our minimums of 805. Altimeters 299 or 2. Uh, 290 at 3 on the, on the, uh, the weather. Uh, for departure, I'll uh, tell you on our taxi. Can you also spot the VR? We're supposed to be 5 back to that. And I can see our runway over here now. This is the airport. Six, sir. Like we got a FedEx joint now. We got a, we got another plane coming in, so it's kind of hopping here. Regular three eighteen, Kansas City Center. 
go ahead for America 3T. Yes, sir. I can't remember if I told you, but uh, Senator, or not Senator, but Tyler just changed it up to expect the uh, approach runway 30 right. Okay, we're expecting uh, runway 30 right, and uh, am I understanding Tower's not online anymore? Yep, he's still around, but he decided to change the runway on me. Okay, Roger that. We're expecting uh, 30 right for America 318. Appreciate you. I can 3 can see that after we probed in the box, flying one T zero vectors, uh, visual approach right three zero right to send maintain five thousand. Down to five thousand, one two zero on the heading for vectors for visual approach three zero right, American three eighteen. American ten ten, uh plan visual approach right three zero right. Visual approach runway three zero right, American ten ten. Runway is eighteen seventy seven, descending to Kilo three for runway three zero right now. Okay, 30 right, 1877. <laughs> you know, you got your wish for 30 right. I was, I knew it was going to be changing, that's why I was laughing. American 711 descending to the KO3 level for runway 30 right. Okay, we right. got 230. Well, descending to the KO3. Yeah, it was always 30 right. You're right, Greg, you're right, you're right. American 2850. Uh, 104 says, uh, I ain't had some good street right. accident in a minute. <laughs> You ain't lying, buddy. That's why we cut from the same cloth. We be we be hoping somebody do something wrong so we can do something. <laughs> yeah, Greg, it was three zero, right? Flight in three six zero vectors for for sequence reduced speed to two seven zero. Okay, left heading three six zero reduced speed two seven. Confirm two seven zero seven eight three zero delta. Yes, sir. Speed two seven zero, please. Heading three six zero. Roger, maintaining 270, left turn heading 360, 7830. Okay, let's look at the approach. Yes, Delta, 41, flight level 320. American 318, airport, 9 o'clock, 5 miles, report to airfield in sight. American 318, does have the field in sight. American 318, cleared visual approach, runway 30 right. Cleared visual approach, runway 30 right for American 318. All right, let's see where we need to be. So we're passing Exhale at 3,500. Here's Hixom. So we'll make our turn in basically at Hixom, guys. And they want us to be 3,500. Delta 641, can't see this, sir. Delta 641, Roger. And what's your position? Okay, guys, appreciate you. Uh, no A1s tonight. You got that right. Uh, how does it go? I wish I'm her. I wish I wish the MF or would. <laughs> you right. You right about that, big dog. All right, guys, we got the brakes out. We're bleeding the speed uh, here. Vision 861 heavy. Am I on the right frequency? Okay, guys, we're looking for 3500 for XL, which we're going to get. Can't see the center of contact 60 south. And we could jump in flaps 2 or 215. That wasn't for you, sir. That was for Delta 641. Delta 641, Roger. Speed check flaps two in. St. Louis altimeter two nine nine two. Expect visual approach runway three zero right. Now watch this little magic trick. We'll just go direct to exhale. Bye, y'all. See that? Now we're going direct to exhale. No problem. No more 
No more nothing, man. Megan 1010, flight heading 075, descend maintain 4000. Let's go ahead and arm the localizer. Oh, you know what? Let me do something for y'all. Last time I didn't do it, I'm going to do it this time. Let's see here. Boom. All right, we got that on for you guys. All right, here we go. Let's get her in. When she starts making the turn, uh, let's see here. We got a 2100 uh, altitude there. Let's just get that program just in case something goes wrong. We can just follow that down. As we start making this turn, I'm going to hit the localizer. Uh, vision 861 Heavy. Uh, just a check, am I on the right frequency? Vision 861 Heavy, uh, what's your position, sir? Localizer's arm. Let's get that approach arm. Approach his arm. Right on the glide slope, baby. <laughs> Let's confirm the... Uh, so we in 1877, traffic three, Clark, seven miles, AA320 out of 6,000. 18.5. Okay, Sunways 1877 has traffic inside. Sunways 1877, maintain visual separation from that traffic. We will maintain visual separation, Sunways 1877. Okay, we are armed. Speed brakes are armed. We're going to go. Laps are coming out. Laps are coming out. Our gear is coming down. Megan 1010, we have the traffic. Megan 1010, thank you. This is maintain 3000. Down to 3000, American 1010. We double check Tower Freak. Tower Freak is 18.5, so we're good there. Megan 1010, additional traffic. Cobra Clock, 1 to 4 miles. AA 321 on a 5 mile final for runway 830 right. Traffic inside as well, American Center. Sorry about that, y'all. Thank you, American 318. You can contact the tower now on 118.5. Over the tower, 18 decimal 5. Hey, man, I really appreciate your ATC service. You're great for American 318. We'll see you next time. Thanks for playing. We'll see you around. Good evening, St. Louis Tower. American 318 is on the, or the visual for 30 right. Correct 318, St. Louis Tower, hello. Traffic is a... Jet suit turbo, jet on a short final, runway 30 right, during the right pattern. Runway 30 right, clear to land number two, wind calm. Okay, we'll watch for traffic. Number two landing uh, for uh, American 318, 30 right, clear to land. <coughs> All right. Double check everything. Lights are on. Let's get this off. And we have it on medium. One Let's five. go ahead and check cabin. All right, don't worry about the flaps five. We're good to go. 100 above. Over 662 on Delta, you were clear to touch and go, not stop and go. I'm going to need you to get it moving. Minimum. Aircraft is ours. Yeah, he better touch and go quick. Cause I ain't trying to do no go around. Come on, homie. Don't, don't fail me now, man. Four six six two on Delta. What are you doing? Let's go. Five hundred. Check. Okay, it looks like he's back up. Great landing. Reverses are out. American 318, welcome to St. Louis. Can we left turn when able? Left turn when able. Thanks for the welcome, American 318. Okay, reverse free. 
All right, left one able. Not a bad landing, guys. I haven't landed this bad boy at night. I think, literally, I'm gonna tell you guys something, and you guys are probably gonna be like, "What? This is the first time I've ever landed this thing at night." Missouri, local time is 9:05 p.m. and it's currently about 83 degrees Fahrenheit. You can now use your mobile device. Kansas City Tower, American 1010, five mile final runway 12 right. Kansas City Tower, American 1010, five mile final runway 12 right. Kansas City Tower, American 1010, five mile final runway 12 right. Kansas City Tower, American 1010, five mile final runway 12 right. Kansas City Tower, American 1010, five mile final runway 12 right. Kansas City Tower, American 1010, five mile final runway 12 right. Kansas City Tower, American 1010, five mile final runway 12 right. Kansas City Tower, American 1010, five mile final runway 12 right. Kansas City Tower, American 1010, five mile final runway 12 right. Kansas City Tower, American 1010, five mile final runway 12 right. Kansas City Tower, American 1010, five mile final runway 12 right. Kansas City Tower, American 1010, five November 6621 Delta, cancel that. Continue right, right down wind for the like brake fans. Right. Extend that and I'll call your base. Okay, we're on Echo 2. Alright, uh, we'll stay, stay down for now. We're, we're trying to figure it out. 6621 Delta, no worries. Just continue that heading. American 318, say parking. Ah, uh, yeah, we should be parking at, uh, like, Charlie 30, Charlie 24, somewhere on that appendage, right, uh, is what we're looking for, sir. I make 318, roger. Uh, taxi to the ramp, you pop-up, Quebec, Charlie, cross runway 30, right, correction, cross runway 30, left to Quebec. A taxi to the ramp, Papa, Quebec, Charlie, cross runway 30, left at Quebec for America 318. All right, so we're gonna cross. Six six two one Delta, turn base. Okay, we're gonna keep our left turn. Okay. Right, six, one, boom, boom, boom. Number six six two one Delta, runway three zero. So right. welcome in, guys. We made it. Dang, sounds like I missed some more smack. Yeah. Uh, great landing. Thank you, baby. I love you so much, babe. My my baby don't play. Neither does my one o fourth money. <laughs> that rhyme, guys. Don't mess with us Latinos, man. Uh, we will take you down. Not downtown, no. No, we're not taking you downtown. And let's see. Uh, we'll we'll actually, okay, we're on Papa right now. It turns into Quebec. So we made it, guys. Pretty nice landing. We'll go back and watch it. So we're getting ready to merge on the Charlie right now. So this will be my last one. I think Leo too. He sent a text and he's saying we're tired, which we are. It's been a long day uh, as far as streaming. It takes a lot of energy to do this. So yeah, we're not going to be running the next leg, unfortunately for me. Uh, they might run it off stream, uh, but I think I'm done with X Plane for the day for sure. Uh, I think my uh, so money. What's up, big dog? We talking about some uh, some DCS? Okay. Gates here, we can pretty much park at. We'll pick this guy over here. And here's Charlie 30. That's what we had said. I got them glow sticks out.
All right, y'all, we made it. Parking brake is set. American 711, St. Louis Travel, St. Louis Tower, seven miles in trail. Engine's coming off. Let's get that APU bleed. Oops. Let's get that uh, APU bleed going. That's not what I meant to do. Turn crosswind, downwind your discretion. And we are good to go. Let's get them packs off for Sheezy. And uh, yeah, guys, let's get our transponder off. And we'll watch the boys come in, and then we'll get a replay, and then that'll be it for your big dog tonight. It was a great... Yeah, I'm going to start... I'm definitely going to be flying some more Airbus. I mean, I really enjoyed it, you know? Uh, oh, 104 when it says can't. That's all good. That's all good. Uh, appreciate... Appreciate you though, money. It's all good though, man. I don't know. I'm kind of uh, finding some gunplay. You can just get me hooked on Ron. Then leave me high drop. <laughs> okay, can. Uh, yeah, we can do gunplay too, money. I like that too. Yeah, let's. You want to do that? Give me a big thumbs up, money. I knew you. I'm so glad you like it, man. I'm waiting. I can't wait for Saturday, money. Straight up. Uh, we made it in. We made it in. We made it in. <laughs> all right, let's get out and see what we. Oh, we got a. We have to uh, come up here and turn our red beacon off. Okay, that's off. All right, now let's go take a look. And another thing we got to do is do the Tola's plug-in so all the doors don't open up when we do our replay. Welcome, guys, to St. Louis. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. There we go. <laughs> I feel you, buddy. Grave, it's, that's butter, Dre. No butter. Great landing. Yes. Good way to end the night. Yes, sir. Thank you, Ray Aviation. That's what's up. I appreciate everybody, man. You guys have been awesome. As always, That's that goes without saying. You guys are awesome. Okay, who we got here? Okay, I think that's Stellar. Did Leo make it in? Let me check his stream. Okay, he's pulling up. Yeah, we missed everybody with all the confusion. Sorry, right, guys. Let's get in the let's get in the boom boom. The boom boom. Let's get in. Let me uh, get rid of this. Boom. And you guys don't need me anymore. Boom. You guys don't need this joint anymore. Boom. Uh. 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 You still on the boom boom room, my G? Leo, you still in the boom boom room? See if Leo gets the message. No, I'm a little irritated, to be truthfully honest. Uh, it didn't earn me a headache for this evening, so. I'm gonna kill it. Uh, I'm gonna kill it here. Uh, we're gonna watch the replays, though. I'm gonna be coming in on the. Uh, left American. 
Oh, did it sim freeze? Alright, we'll turn left echo two. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to 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 Ladies and gentlwelcome to Ladies and gentlemen, welcome 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 to Ladies and gentlemen
we'll, we'll be up in the skies again, boys, for sure. So no Chicago there, right? Yeah, not for me. No Chicago for me, for sure. Morning, bro. As always, a pleasure to fly with you, man. And, you know, tell everybody in the audience, big up. No doubt, and they heard you, and you know, you know, we love us green. So anytime, any place, brother, I always have you, Greg, Rock, you know, Leo, Stellar, uh, iHeart, uh, Aspiring Aviator, whoever wants to join. It's always big love. So appreciate you, man. Gray says, uh, "I'm landing in about 15 minutes and off to bed." All right, y'all, I'm gonna disconnect. Let's go ahead and run these replays, y'all, and uh, see what it do. And see how we did at night. This is my, like I said, my first time landing tonight. So let's get off the Batsim network and uh, let's come right down here and we will get into the replay. Yeah, Aviation Geek, no Chicago. We tired, man. Stream is like six. We, hey, we're trying to save that energy for Saturday anyway, Aviation Geek. You know what's up. That requires a lot of energy. <laughs> yeah, but we're, we're done for the night, guys. We're, we're just going to, you know, run a couple of replays here. And call it. <laughs> yeah, you know why I'm excited for Saturday, Aviation Geek. Was looking official, boy. Yeah, a fire aviator, you definitely know, cause you in it. <laughs> you in it. You gonna be with us, right, a fire aviator? We need you. We need you. <laughs> yeah, he knows what we do on Saturday. That's right. Hey, hey, aviation geek and a fire aviator. Uh, that's uh, we got that uh, G14 classified joint. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Greg Hill, ATC are humans and volunteers. Yeah, yeah, I, I definitely wasn't saying nothing about them. You know, I didn't have a problem. They they hooked me up. I got direct Kayla, I planned three zero right, and hey, it was a good night. But yes, Greg, you're you're absolutely right, man. Uh, Aspiring neighbor says I'll check my schedule if I'm if I'm working. Hopefully not. All right, yeah, that's what's up, man. That's what's up. It's all love. So here she came in at night. We pretty much had a center line landing as well. There we go. Nose down. Woo, she looks good at night, don't she? She looks real good at night. Basically, just past the runway blocks, boys. And wife. Hi, y'all. That was pretty nice. Let's run that back for my baby, the one that only ganks the wife. Alright baby, here you go honey. Got my baby riled up. My baby was ready to throw them things on y'all. <laughs> baby don't play. And my G money. You know I'm talking about. You know I got you money. And baby, you know. Oh, so I got you. <laughs> here you go honey. Just slightly left of the center line, not bad at all. 
Alright, let's run that back. Run it back! We'll run it from this side. We'll run both the replays from this side. I think you'll be able to see some. Hey, everybody. Thank you guys for riding along. I do appreciate each and every one of your support. Uh, big up, of course, to Capital G, Capital D, my lovely wife, of course. Thank you so much, baby, and the kids for supporting. Aviation Geek was in the house. Gray Aviation was in the house. Uh, Chicken Nugget was in the house. Leo Sticks 86, my G, was in the house. Green Light Auto Brokers was in the house. Doggone Chesley Womack was in the house. Greg Hill was in the house. Inspiring Aviator was in the house. Stellar FSYT was definitely all the way in the house. I Art was in the house for sure. Uh, who else we got here? Of course, we said my boy Aviation Geek, my man, the one, the only. Doggone 104 money all the way in the house, my real G. Shadow was in the house for sure. Big up, Shadow. I didn't see you in the comments, but big up to you, man. Thank you for joining, man. For sure, dog. Let me keep going here. We got we said aspiring aviator. Nightbot was in the house, y'all. Uh more 87 was all the way in the house. Thank you so much. We said graviation, but then thank you so much, graviation. More 87 was all the way in the house. Appreciate you on that, guys. Let me see. Let's keep rolling. Benga was all the way in the house. Thanks, Benga. Misunderstanding. It's all good. Benga was in the house. Thanks for your support. Mall Gaming 101 was in the house, man. Uh, I like men named Ashuf was in the house. Thank you for uh, checking us out. And I appreciate everybody. Let me keep rolling. Who else was in the house on this bad boy? Uh, let's see here. We got Greg. Please, if I'm missing you, throw your name in there because I'm not trying to miss anybody. Monty Henderson was in the house. Appreciate you trying to ride along. If you're in the background and you didn't come into chat, guess what? You were still all the way in the house. Big up to everybody that made a comment, who did make a comment. I really appreciate it. Uh, you guys were all the way in the house. If I missed your name, I'm not meaning to. I'm trying to give everybody uh, my gratitude and appreciation. So I am by no means trying to miss your name. But guys, we did it again. It was a great stream. It's always better when you guys are on board. It makes things much funner uh much more interesting and guys we're gonna get into uh the last replay which will be our left wing replay and uh then after that guys we're gonna sign off and we're gonna call it a night oh sheezy oh sheezy let's go back a little more that's a little bit too close Hundred above. Okay, that's good about right there you guys know i like my last wing replay you know how i do and there you go we had a great stream thank you all for your support and uh much love to everybody much love to everybody god bless each and every one of you thanks for watching enjoy the replay we'll be back at it again soon we got something new coming to you on saturday night i hope and uh, I hope to see you guys there. I hope to see you guys on every stream. That way I can see how you're doing. And uh, hopefully provide you guys with another outlet for us all to hang out together. So that's what it's all about, man. One love. I'm your boy, Dre. And uh, this is Dre Sanchez YouTube channel. It wouldn't be the channel without you guys. So enjoy the replay. But this is it for my commentary. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. And yeah, Stellar, I'll hit you up in Discord afterward in a few minutes, man. That's what's up.